Uh, awesome. Well, I'm super excited to run this advanced training for you guys. Uh, this is one of my favorite trainings to run because it's actually based on some experience, right? Like in basic training, a lot of it is theory for you guys. You've never done it. You've never seen it. You've never experienced it. Where now you've had a chance at least to do a couple demos um, and uh, and see what's happening, right? And so a lot of the stuff will make a lot more sense. And so things will click better, you know? Um, but awesome to see people knocking out their first sales. Uh, we've got some first promos. Um, uh, congrats to you guys um, here. Uh, knocking out first sales uh, and McKenna, Tyrone on their way to that first promo and Daniel, we're going to get you today. Uh, so I want to walk through real quick to review pay just to make sure you guys know how the pay works um, exactly. Okay. Um, uh, make sure uh, you guys have. So every single week um, uh, when we go through pay and um, I can use um, I can I can show you guys uh, an example of this. Um, but how this works is that uh, the I know McKenna. Well, let's go. Let's just do yours. Um, uh, I can do yours um, live here. Um, in a moment, and show you guys the actual system. But just so you guys know, this is how this works, right? So let me just show y'all. Um, so if you did, like, let's say you did five appointments for the weekend, all right, or for the week, a lot of our students do five, seven, 10, or 12, cool. During your fast start, you want to do double, at least double what you plan on doing so you can hit those promotions quicker and then be able to work part-time and make a full-time income, all right? Highly, highly recommend that. After your first uh, week, we make your normal schedule and I want everyone to pick five, we call it focus five, lucky seven, perfect 10, or dirty dozen. And usually the guys in the 10 to 12 demos are the ones who are uh, competing competing um, and going after scholarships, uh, while those doing five to seven demos are just really earning some more part-time cash and continuing to improve their career sales. Cool. Um, so five appointments, what we know is that do or die, you're going to be guaranteed a minimum of a hundred bucks. Everyone good? You guys know that, right? So let's say uh, from those two appointments, uh, you had two sales, right? and you had a sale for $105, and you had a sale for uh, $380, cool? Just picking random numbers. So what we know is your total sales um, uh, ended up being $485, cool? Um, and CPO. So being brand, brand new, um, you are at 10% commissions, all right? When you're making 50%, you just made $240 off of that. Pretty cool. Uh, you guys are not at 50% yet. But when I started, my buddy was at 50 and I'd always get so mad because he'd be like, oh, that's cute. You made $48. I would have made $240. I'm like, oh, you suck. But it excited me to work hard and hit those promotions, you know? So being brand new, you guys make 10% commissions off this, right? So you would earn $48 dollars uh, and 50 cents. All right. Um, now, how much were you guaranteed to make on your paycheck? You were guaranteed to make a hundred bucks, right? Now, here's what I want to make sure everyone knows. I know this was covered in training, but again, the base pay is guaranteed by me. Cool. The commissions is paid by corporate. So if you ever have an off week and your base pay is higher, which typically would just happen when you're brand new, you know, because if y'all look at this, like I said, once you're at, let's say, um, uh, 20% even, uh, or, or excuse me, you're going to be right up there almost matching it when you're at 25% um, uh, and you go, okay, 485 uh, times, you know, 25%, um, uh, that is $121 um, off the same amount of work, right? Once you're at 30% um, uh, off of that and you go, okay, 485 uh, times 30%, all right, you're looking at $145 um, that you've earned. And then obviously once you're at that 50% mark, that's pretty exciting. Uh, and you're making uh, some, some, nice, uh, some nice income off of that, right? So in this case, like as you climb up, the commissions would be higher. So you would earn the 121 or the 145 or the 240, right? But in this example, being brand new, um, uh, you uh, earned $48.50. So how this works is you were guaranteed 100, you earned, so we're going to subtract uh, the 48, uh, 50 that corporate is going to pay you, all right? Um, and then uh, I actually look at this and go, okay, what, what do I owe them, right? To make sure that they made the money that they were guaranteed. And so then I would, this would be uh, $51 
um, and 50 cents, all right? I would add to your check um, so that you receive the grand total of $100, cool? So on your paycheck, you will see commissions from sales, $48.50, uh, 5150, uh, minimum base pay, total check, $100. Everyone good? Cool. Uh, and then, like I said, once you're in those higher levels, well, your commissions are much higher. All right. But every week we tally the number of appointments you completed. Um, uh, we look at the um, uh, incentives that were earned um, and then we uh, we look at to see the difference. And by the way, the computer does this all for you. You don't have to figure this out. Um, this is something that um, uh, when we meet with you guys in your payroll meeting, we'll, we'll review it. Um, and then every Tuesday, uh, we'll make sure that this is uh, submitted uh, to the company uh, to make sure that your paychecks uh, are ready to rock for um, that weekend. Now, I want to say this. If your paycheck is ever off, it's for one of two reasons, right? Uh, number one would be that your, oh yeah, McKenna, yours was already submitted, so I can't show it as an example. Um, but the, the only two reasons would be either um, we didn't meet with you, we didn't submit your base if you were owed base, so that was off, right? Or like in the example, Tyrone, we fixed that order earlier today, right? It could be a problem order. And so all of a sudden, the $25 or $30 from that sale, you didn't get it. And you're like, what the heck? I didn't get paid, right? And it wasn't, it was just, they just needed to confirm an address, right? Um, uh, and so sometimes there's an issue like that, whether it's like the billing doesn't match, they have to confirm address. Us, um, and we just need to fix it and it's and it's done. Cool. So if your paycheck is ever off, do not freak out. All right. Just call us and say, hey, can we review my check? Something was off. So we can look and see what the issue and we can get it fixed immediately. All right. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are making your money. That's for dang sure. I don't want you running around being like that cuckoo place, that Kathy lady, they didn't pay me, you know, like I don't play those games. So I know that unfortunately there's been managers across the country that are young, immature, you know, um, and, and maybe they didn't pay. Some of the stuff you might see online could be true. Some of it's a bunch of crap, but there is truth to some of it. And it's not the company. It's not Vector. It was like a certain person or a certain, you know, like something happened. Just like, let's say Tyrone, somebody said to you, hey, can I just pay you in cash for products? We had a kid once say, yeah. And the customer gave them $500 for the product. And three weeks later, we got a call from the customer at our office saying, your company's a scam. Da, 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 da. I called corporate. There's no record of my order. Yada, yada, yada. Is my company a scam? No, some 18 year old kid ran off with $500 of cash and went, oh, I got five dollars and like never submitted the order, never put anything in. Um, and y'all, of course, we found them. Of course, the charges were pressed. You don't want to deal with that stupidity. Um, but what sucks for me, I don't care about that kid and getting on his record. That sucks for him. Bad decisions. What I care about is now the customer has a bad taste about our company. And it wasn't our company. It was a kid who ran off with 500 bucks cash, right? So same thing has happened on a management level, unfortunately. And I never want that happening here. Cool. So just make sure if anything's ever off, just talk to the manager so we can look in, we can fix anything that's there and boom, done. Um, uh, so I want to dive in uh, to doing a demo walkthrough. This is something that really helped me when I first started uh, with the company, uh, being able to really fully understand and comprehend, um, uh, you know, the, the, the objectives and just the little things that I want to make sure to emphasize uh, that would help because the demo is designed to handle every single objection before it comes up. All right. Uh, there's only five minute objections we get in our business. You know, it's like, oh, that's not where um, uh, I either I need to think about it or not now, uh, it's too expensive, I can't afford it, that's too many pieces, um, uh, or, you know, my knives are fine right now, right? Um, uh, and so those are the common things, but that we know where they root from. And if you actually hit the points in the presentation, it reduces the amount of, of uh, objections that you get. And it really comes down to excitement or how can I do it today? And we're going to walk through that, okay? Um, and so I want to go ahead and share uh, my screen so we can go through um, and do a, a quick walk through and give you guys some tips here um, to really help you guys out. All right. So when we start the Cuckoo presentation, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you guys are connecting with your customers, uh, really being able to um, uh, build rapport, uh, making sure that customers really understand um, uh, how uh, you can, you know, like uh, what you're working towards, why you're working, what you're doing. Um, that's really important. All right. Uh, give me one quick second. So 
this is something I was showing um, Tyrone earlier. So you guys being brand new, you guys are like, you you go through here and you're saying hi and you're chit-chatting with them and, you know, and, and you go ahead and, you know, and you share your goals and you've got this here, right? <laughs> oh, little Benjamin. Um, but something I was showing Tyrone earlier is that our top representatives um, all have, um, like Johnny, you just saw this was his, all right? They have a slideshow that they actually share with the customers at the start of the demo before they start the interactive demo, all right? And so uh, if you're sharing screen, you just share the screen like I'm sharing with y'all. Uh, if you're doing it over the phone or FaceTime, you can just email it to them so that they have it, um, but they share. And he's like, oh yeah, so I'm going to Lone Star College right now. I'm gonna transfer to UH, you know, and they're sharing a little bit about them. Um, and so some of my goals for the future, like I wanna have my own business. I wanna be able to take over my, you know, the properties that I help my dad with and have a place here. And, you know, he talks about personal goals. Um, and so I'm really excited about this company because they have all these things <laughs> that they can help me with for my future. Um, so like McKenna, there's this president's club. That's a hand signed letter from the president of the company saying like how awesome I am. Uh, that helps me for like future like grad school programs, internships, future jobs that I can get. Consistency club is something I can put on my resume that shows that like I'm a consistent performer, not just like a one hit wonder. Um, the All-American Scholarship uh, is something that can really help me uh, for school. Um, and so those are based on sales. And I'll share a little bit more about that um, uh, in a bit. Um, uh, then a team builder. Um, that's another, there's just a lot of different things. But one of the things I'm most excited about is what you see on the top right, which is Leadership Academy. And so this is actually something that my uh, manager uh, runs and they really teach us life skills. And so this is what Cutco is known for. Uh, so if you look here, McKenna, it shows like all the different weeks of the curriculum. Like these are uh, some of the life skills we're learning on top of um, how to run a business um, and using Cutco as like a platform on like learning how to like launch and build a business. And so this is really cool because you know, one day I actually want to have my own gym, right, um, uh, Daniel? And so I'm like, I want to have my own gym one day. Um, and so learning how to like manage myself, learning how to manage others, learning how to do back end and like run the business, you know, versus obviously working out. And I love that. And I love being in the gym, but like, there's a lot of stuff that goes to running a successful business. And so this company gives me a chance to really get a foundation in that. Um, and so these are some of the things so far, you guys wouldn't have those yet, but like, as you're on the reports, uh, which you guys are now on the office reports, you can show that. Um, um, but this is what I've done so far. And so this fall, uh, my goal is to complete 10 appointments a week around school um, and surpass $20,000 in sales. That would put me on uh, in bonus land. Um, and so I'm really excited about that and really working hard this week. You know, I have my fast start contest right now. Um, and my goal um, uh, in my first 10 days is to complete 30 appointments and see how much free stuff I can win and see how high I can get in percentage. Um, and so this is based on sales. So McKenna, Tyrone, you know, you know, like I told you guys on the phone, um, you don't have to get anything. I do get paid just to do it, but keep a lookout because if you guys see any like presents for like weddings, birthdays, the holidays, we have like a bunch of Christmas, you know, Christmas specials and things that are coming up, Black Friday specials. Uh, not only are you getting a heck of a product, but it helps me out with my sales too. Cool. Um, and then this has nothing to do with sales. This is actually a free way to help. Um, this is my sponsorship, Miss McKenna. And this is just for introducing me to nice people, just like Julie introduced me to you. Um, and I'm going to tell you about the sponsorship later. Uh, but my goal ultimately is to sell in all 50 states. Um, uh, and um, uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and spread my, spread my business uh, nationwide. All right. Um, uh, and lastly, uh, this is something my, my office is looking to raise $20,000 this fall, uh, to help, uh, with solar panels at this hospital that we built down in Haiti. Uh, my manager and some of her best friends, um, after, uh, over a decade ago, there was a really bad earthquake and they lost like the hospital in the South part of Jacques Mel. Um, and so some friends came together from Cutco. And so this medical clinic was built by Cutco reps, um, um, uh, and um, and something that we're trying to help even in the middle of so much unrest over there right now, making sure that they still have a way to provide uh, medical attention to people in need. Um, so this is something that if you wanted to separately, uh, you're able to donate to, it's tax deductible, you can donate on your own, you know, or if you wanted to contribute towards my goal, my goal is to raise $1,000 this fall. Um, uh, and so every Every uh, every donation uh, makes a difference and it goes to a great cause. Cool. Um, but anyway, thank you again so much, you know, for taking time uh, to see my presentation. Uh, it really means so, uh, so much. All right. Now, as far as the um, 
presentation. Um, did you get that link that I sent you? And they're like, oh yeah. All right. And I'm like, all right, awesome. I'm like, we can go ahead and uh, open that. Um, uh, and, uh, and so that way it can load up. Um, I'll go ahead and pop it up on my side. Right. And then now they'll see their side. Uh, and I'm like, so um, I know I shared some of that stuff already with you. Um, and by the way, you guys can just start right here, right? Don't forget that you guys have the hamburger menu. So you can just go right to step three when you start off here. And you're like, all right, so Miss Susie, I just sent you um, the app. And if you want, you can scan the barcode that's on the screen and just let it download. Uh, if it pops up now, um, there's some questions you can answer. If not, we'll just use it at the end. Um, I just want to make sure you have that uh, because that's where you'll be able to put feedback. Um, they'll ask a couple questions to make sure that, you know, I did the appointment uh, and then just give me any feedback to help me get better. So we'll, we'll cover that later. Uh, but thank you again so much for seeing me. And you can play the video or not up to you. When you're new, I recommend it to explain it. But if not, you can just explain what it is. Um, uh, so here. So again, Miss Susie, I know when I shared my goals, I said this, but I want to say again, you know, like I said on the phone, you don't have to get anything, but please keep a lookout. All right. And so this guy's is something that my manager told me. He's like, you want to make sure that you hit this because on the phone, you told them, hey, you don't have to get anything. I got paid to do it. Um, and I remember when I was new, I had customers who were saying, well, I did it just to help you. Right. And I told my manager, oh, they did it just to help me. And he's like, well, Kathy, Almost everybody did it just to help you, if not everyone. He's like, the end, the beers they end up buying is because when they see the product, they're like, oh crap, you know, and they like it. He's like, your goal is that a customer is watching the presentation with buying eyes. You don't want them to be like, I hope Daniel's not going to ask me if I'm going to buy. I told him I wasn't going to buy. I hope he's not going to ask me. You don't want them thinking that, you know, you want to address it. And you want them to go, oh, okay, he remembers or she remembers, but let me see if I see something, right? That's how I want them watching. So I'm like, so like I said on the phone, you don't have to get anything, right? But Miss McKenna, please keep a lookout um, because if you do see something you like for you or for gifts, like weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, um, holiday gifts, like we have Black Friday specials around the corner, like we will make sure you get the best deal today. And not only are you getting a great product, but it helps me out so much for my goals. Cool. Um, and again, I'm only able to work through referrals. Like I mentioned the sponsorship. And so uh, another goal is that you like me enough to recommend me to all of your friends. All right. So Cutco is awesome. You can buy sets or pieces and we have tons of accessories, you know, uh, gifts, hunting tools and more. Uh, we also have interest reinvestment options. So you don't have to pay for it all at once. All right. And just so I know, do you guys cook because you have to, because you like to, or because you um, love to? whatever I say, I'm like, all right, awesome. I'm like, well, those three sets, like the basic is for anyone who has a kitchen, the, the signature set, the middle one is for people who like to cook. And then the complete set is for people who love to, or they just love to have the best. All right. But you're going to love Kako. Um, uh, so uh, let me tell you, and now we go into the next step. All right. So we want to make sure, number one, uh, you want to make sure that you're really building good rapport um, when y'all are talking to them, that they're really tied into you. The more they are tied into you and what you're doing and what you're up to. And that's why we love these slideshows and presentations. Uh, the more they see you as a person who's on a mission and they see your goals for your life, Daniel, um, uh, stay with me here. Um, and they see what you're working towards and what you're excited about. And y'all, that's how you're going to get more referrals. Everyone listen to me. If they're just thinking about you as the knife salesperson, they're just going to give you two or three people they think might buy. Maybe they might say, I don't know anyone, or I just have a couple people. That's just because they're thinking of who might be interested in the products. Everyone got that? Um, but when they really see how this benefits you personally and how it can help you for your future, that is when you're going to get a lot more referrals and recommendations. Okay. Um, so you always want to make sure you crush that because that makes a really big difference. Everyone good? It impacts your recs. It impacts your average order. It impacts your closing ratio when they're really tied into you because those sales that they might not make now and they might wait till later, they're like, you know what? honey, let's just do it now. Like, you know, like we're going to get them later anyway. Um, they're guaranteed forever. You know, um, uh, Tyrone said they have those specials happening. Like, I love what he's up to. We might as well just get it now. You know, and I had customers who'd say that because it's true, guys. Um, uh, cut code, just like everything in the world goes up every two years, right? There's inflation, there's stuff. It goes up every two years. Um, uh, and so uh, this is the best time for them. They're never going to get it cheaper. You know, like if they wait five years, it's going to cost more in five years. Um, uh, and whenever they buy, it, they're going to have it forever. Okay. 
So now we dive into the presentation. So a couple of quick things here that you guys want to make sure to hit on. Uh, these are things that help build value, right? You guys want to have more sales. You need to build more value. If they don't feel it's worth it, they're going to say, Daniel, this is awesome, but I just, I wouldn't spend that much money on Cutco. All right. Um, and so this is really important. You guys stay with me because if not, I'm like wasting my time and, and you're not going to have any difference in your results. Um, uh, and so here you're like, Hey, so today I want to tell you why Cutco is a top made brand, all that. So here are the parts that you want to make sure you guys hit here. OK, um, uh, you want to make sure you really hit how they can, you know, buy once, use every day, then never buy again. And I always say there and you guys can write this down. I'm like, so obviously, Thea, that's going to cost more money. And so planting seeds like that, like obviously that's going to cost more money. Um, uh, and I'm like, and then Cutco is a dot producer of many K-bar knives used both by military and law enforcement um, agents. Um, so also the quality is super high quality, uh, best stuff you can get. So obviously, you know, that's not going to be cheap. Uh, and, and let me show you some products to demonstrate the quality of Cutco, right? And y'all, when you guys show the scissors and you cut the penny, all right, or you show the video, again, write that down. You want to say there. Um, so, oh, as you can see, Miss Susie, you know, this stuff definitely, you know, like is not like, here's the phrases, write this down. Like they need to hear a version of it's not cheap. It's an investment. It costs more, but it's worth it. Like phrases like that are really key as you're going through. So my manager taught me uh, when you're going through the, um, you know, when you talk about how it's guaranteed for buy once, use every day. He's like, so obviously that's not cheap, right? That's not in there. Throw that in there. When you talk about K-Bar, military, like the quality super high. So obviously it's going to cost a little bit more, right? Uh, when you go through and they see the penny, you're like, did you see how great that is? I'm like, yeah. So all of our products, like I said, super high quality. So again, it's an investment. It's not cheap. We'll go through prices later. So we've already said it's not cheap. It's an investment. It costs more like three times already. You guys got that? When I was new, I thought, oh my my God, I'm going to scare the customer. Like when my manager taught me this, I'm like, I don't want to scare them. And my manager was like, well, you're going to scare them at the end when you tell them the price. Or you could tell them now and ex and them expect that it's going to cost more and let them know why. And I was like, oh, I didn't think about that. Right. And he's like, so plant the seeds from the beginning. Um, and he's like, hopefully they think it's going to be a lot more. Right. And if you do your job right, they should think it's going to cost more than the one in stores. Right. And then when we tell them, oh, no, it's not. Or, hey, it's only half the cost. Then they're like, oh, cool. Right. Um, uh, and so that's going to help you guys have a lot more sales um, uh, when you guys do that. All right. So. Um, uh, back to here. So you've got um, with the scissors, are you guys planting a seed of the quality? And like, isn't that awesome? Be like, obviously, Miss Susie, these are not cheap. My friend Andy used to be like, you might have to take out a second mortgage. He's like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Just sell one of your kids. You know, and they would always laugh. And he's like, he's like, no, seriously, so like, we'll get to prices later. But uh, it is an investment when people purchase Cutco, you know, and check out this peeler. Like this thing goes back and front and da, 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 you know, you shatter it. So again, get excited and don't be scared. Um, my manager said, you want to talk about how it costs more. It's an investment. Um, it's not cheap. It's higher quality. That's why I cause like, you want to say some kind of like at least 10 times before we ever get to prices. Cool. So we've already started planting some of those seeds here. All right. And then we go to um, the next step. All right. Now, if you guys crush this page, all right, listen up. If you crush this page, you, you created a problem. Now they're like, all right, show me the solution. If you don't, if you ever hear someone say, oh, Daniel, um, my knives are fine. Or like, I don't really need knife. That means you did not do a good job here. Got it? If they have like wood handle knives or crap. And so you guys want to make sure that you nail this. Now, by the way, this is already here. I just want to point it out and, uh, and for you to understand the psychology of this. Got it? And that is as you guys walk through saying sets with, da -da -da -da, sets with, Da, da, da. Always saying sets with, sets with. What is that going to help you sell more of? Anyone want to take a guess? Sets, right? You want them thinking about sets. And so this was something that when I watched one of my guys, Artie Bartholomew, um, uh, you know, when he first, he would never sell sets. He would always sell pieces, but he also had like a ridiculously high average order for pieces. It was like $480 or something. And it was like all pieces. And I'm like, how the heck is this kid's average order so high? And he only sells pieces. 
So he's like, oh, I don't know. They just want pieces. I'm like, no, nah, dude. I'm like, that. I've never seen someone with such a high average order of pieces. I said, let me watch your demo. And when I watched him do his presentation, he was like, oh, knives with wood handles, you know, like da da da, and knives like da da da. And he always said knives. Not, he never said the word sets, not once, not tools, not sets. He would just say knives, knives, knives. And guess what? He sold a lot of knives, but he never sold sets. And so after I watched him, I was like, dude, literally just like, read this like just say sets with <laughs> sets with sets with and I said plant those seeds and I'll show you guys um when you go through the names and uses there's another key phrase my manager taught me that I'll give you guys um but he made that adjustment his next demo gourmet set next one galley set next one he had a starter set he's like oh I'm like it, it's just psychology right and it's what people are focused on and what people are thinking about so understand that there is a lot of psychology in sales and we want to make sure that you guys are set up for success all right and so that's really important uh as we are going through here um that you guys are doing that properly all right um so really big so you go through here. So making sure, do they see the common problems with common knives? And this is one of my girls, Janine, even her virtual demos, um, uh, she would still like, I don't know if you guys saw like on the page before, um, when you can tell them to like grab their, you know, they can grab their junk knives. Sorry, in the beginning, um, uh, once you go through all this and you're like, hey, before we're going to further grab your junk knives, right? And so some people, they're like, oh, that just says in person. But one of my girls, Janine, she's like, oh, I love them just grabbing them so they could be looking at it as I'm talking about stuff. You know, you're not going to bash and be like, what do you have? Oh, that's crap, right? They just, they can put two and two together. But she always liked for them to have their stuff out so that she could comment on it. All right. Um, uh, and so really important. All right. Uh, then uh, we go through, um, uh, you know, sets with wood, sets with carbon, like, oh, what the heck just happened? Where's my practice demo? Go back. I was like, what did I do? All right. Sorry. Um, uh, so we go through um, different types of steels, different types of edges. Um, uh, and then, and then you say, so let me show you how Cutco has solved all these problems. Everyone good? All right. And now we're going to go to uh, the next um, slide. And so again, if you crush this page, uh, this is where you avoid the, oh, my knives are fine when they don't have good knives. All right. Uh, so want to make sure um, you guys have that and we're set up properly. All right. And now we go. So when I transition here, okay. Um, uh, this phrase right here, y'all do not skip it. Okay. And I emphasize, I'm like, so Miss Susie, let me show you why so many people choose to invest in Cutco. You know, like I said, it's not cheap, but let me show you why it costs what it does. And so if you want to write that down, let me show you why it costs what it does. That's something my manager told me to say as well. It helps you build more value. Okay. Um, if they, if they don't guys, if they don't, if at the, if they don't feel it costs, you know, that's when you hear I, that's too expensive, right? That means I don't feel it's worth the money. So we have to make sure they know. So if you ever hear it's too expensive, you didn't build the value. All right. And so I'm giving you some things to help build the value. So right here, I'm like, Hey, let me show you why so many customers choose to invest in Cutco um, and just why it costs what it does. Right. So that's the phrase to add there. And they're like, all right. I'm like, so there's five features. I'm going to show you this quick video right now. Miss Susie, write these down. Um, uh, and I'm going to have you guys write them down too. I'm like, write these down real quick. I'm going to show you. And we're going to walk through so that you understand again, why Cutco costs what it does. Cause like I mentioned, it's an investment, you know? Um, so let me five features that make Cutco the world's finest cutlery. The first high grade 440 a steel. This steel is expensive to manufacture, but it's worth it because it has the best of both worlds. It has carbon for edge retention and stainless for beauty, making it sanitary and sharp. Next is the thermo resin handle. This material will never chip, crack, or break. It resists heat more than normal plastics, and it's not cheap, but it's worth it because it's dishwasher safe and sanitary. Number three, the full tang triple rivet construction. Using the extra steel is more expensive, but it's worth it because it creates By the way, do you guys hear balance. what it's saying? Do you the hear how it says it costs more, but it's worth it? This is more expensive. This is like, do you hear that? So the video is even trying to do that for you, but can you do that throughout your demo as well? So I want to make sure you guys caught that. Three nickel silver rivets are flush with the handle, making it strong and sanitary. And there's no place for food particles to hide or rot. Next is the universal wedge lock handle. It fits any size hand, righties or lefties. Fingers lock into place, increasing control and safety while reducing fatigue when cooking big meals. The handle design is exclusive to Cutco, 
It's stylish yet practical, comfortable and safe. And finally, the famous Stay Sharp Double D Edge. There are three razor sharp straight edges up inside the blade. The points protect the edges, keeping them sharper longer. The edge is an expensive feat of engineering, but it's worth it because Cutco will stay sharper than any other knife. All right, and if you guys want to write that phrase down, there's a phrase our manager said, always a great thing to use. This, whatever feature, whatever you're talking about, this costs more, but it's worth it because blank. So once the video finishes, it's really good to recap, all right? So this is an advanced tool, but it's good to recap. So go, Miss Susie, so again, as you saw, there's five years of the steel. It costs more, but it's worth it to use that kind of steel because it stays sharp and it stays clean, you know? The second is that actual, that handle, the, the material, the thermal resin, that's similar to what they use for bowling balls, football helmets, inside of dishwashers, and it costs more to use that, but it's great because it doesn't absorb moistures or bacteria and it lasts a lot longer. Cool. The third feature that they talked about were those little rivets. Those are made of nickel silver. And so they don't loosen or pop out. Um, uh, and so you don't get the gook all in there, you know, and it costs more money to have that, but you have a knife that stays together with the blade that goes all the way through for better balance and support. The fourth feature is the actual universal wedge lock, right? It's that, that special handle, the look of it, the ergonomics. It costs more to have that handle. Like the guy who made that handle, he made the Porsche stick shift. He made a uh, BMW stick shift. He made fighter jet planes. He was featured in Forbes magazine as like the father of, um, of ergonomics, uh, back in the eighties. Um, uh, and so a lot went into that, but it, and so it costs more to have that, but it's great because it reduces hand fatigue. It fits lefties, righties, big, small hands. Um, it's a lot more comfortable and it's won tons of awards. All right. And the fifth feature is the actual double D edge. And so that unique edge, I'm going to show you right now so you can see like how the edges actually work. It actually cuts forwards, down and back. And so straight edges, like serrated knives, they rip and tear at food, right? And so if you look here, you hear the sound, you just kind of like rips at it. And that's how serrations work. Okay. So they just rip and tear. When you have straight edges, which, which which chefs like, is it gives clean cuts, all right? The, the thing is that they have to be sharpened every time they're used, all right? By the way, guys, this is not in your manual. I'm giving you extra things that I know from being more experienced and like it gives nice clean cuts, all right? And then, um, uh, the double D edge, you'll see it works fantastic. And I'll tell you about it in, you know, in a second, but just so you know, like we can boom, done. So, Miss Susie, we cut rope because it's tough, um, like vegetables and meats, but it's not going to hurt your knife edge, you know? And so unlike the double D edge, it has three straight edges that are protected. And so, again, you're reading through here. And then again, what does it say here again? All right. So are you saying that because all this stuff is planting the seed so that they know it's going to cost more? So I'm like, so Miss Susie, again, this unique edge uses that expensive technology, but it's super worth it because it's going to stay, it's going to cut like that for at least 10 to 15 years. Um, uh, and some people, if you're going to have them longer, um, uh, but you can always, whenever they're not as sharp, you send them back. Um, and so actually I'm, I'm ruining the next part, <laughs> the forever guarantee. And so the biggest reason Cutco costs uh, what it does um, is the four part forever guarantee. All right. So again, are you reading that? Like, again, this stuff is in here, but I want to make sure you guys are, are um, um, emphasizing and seeing the extras um, so that they're expecting the bigger prices. Right. And so I'm like, Cuckoo is one of the only products that you can buy once, use every day and never have to replace. Right. So how do you say that? Are you like, Cuckoo is one of the only products you can buy once, use every day, never have to like, just remember, you also have to deliver it. Right. So I'm like, Hey, so Tyrone, Cuckoo is one of the only products that you can buy once, use every day and never have to replace, all right? Your product is your proof of purchase and you can pass it down generation after generation. Um, and so forever performance, if anything ever goes wrong, right? And so we go through each of those four parts uh, and I'm like, so Cutco is such a great investment because you never have to buy another set again and you can't be American made and forever guaranteed, all right? And for anyone doing Spanish demos, this is very important. I didn't realize this when I was brand new, and so I would say, um, like, oh, um, oh, son, um, son caro, or so like, and I'm saying like, it's expensive, but I'm saying the bad expensive. I'm saying like the expensive that it's not worth it. And I didn't realize that. And so you want to say, no, son costoso, like they're costly, like they're an investment. So you're like, son costoso, no son barato, like they're not cheap, right? No son barato, son costoso, son una inversión, which means they're an investment. 
So that's what you want to say. Oh, para que sepan, no son, no son baratos o son costosos, son una inversión. Es algo que compran una vez, la usan para la vida y lo pueden pasar a uh, generación hasta generación. Uh, I don't have very good Spanish, but that's how I, that's how I do it. Uh, but I was taught that, you know, because I was saying like, oh, son caro. And they're like, oh, and I'm literally telling them it's not worth it. So you got to be careful with translation in Spanish. So again, no son baratos, son costosos, son una inversión. Uh, se pueden pasar de generación a generación. All right. So just want to throw that in there for any Spanish speakers. Um, uh, then um, you want to keep going here. So um, now um, the, the, the testimonial video is great. You can also share some of your own. Uh, so you can show that to customers. Everyone good so far? All right. Um, uh, now we go to the set. So I'm like, all right. So Miss Susie, what I'm, the last thing is I'm going to go ahead and show you um, our sets. I'm going to go through prices and we're going to wrap up. All right. And so I want them to like stay focused and not lose it with me. So I'm like, so auntie, you can buy individual pieces, but most customers agree that over a lifetime sets are a much better value. Uh, it's important to have the right tool for the right situation because of safety and efficiency. Um, so we do have our two larger sets for people who love to cook uh, called the ultimate and signature. I'll show you that later. I'm going to actually just start with uh, the pieces in our basic set, which is the most popular. Uh, it's called the Homemaker Plus Eight. It has a 10 minimum, uh, the 10 basic tools. Um, and I just show them this real quick. I'm like, it's seven knives, two forks and a spatula. Um, and so it was designed to do a hundred percent of the jobs in your kitchen as efficiently as possible. Everyone write that down. Seven knives, two forks and a spatula. All right. Seven knives, two forks and a spatula. Um, and so it just makes it really simple. Um, so I'm like, yeah, this is, this, this is it's seven knives, two forks and a spatula. It was designed back in 1949 to cover hundred percent of the jobs in your kitchen as efficiently as possible. And so auntie, which color do you like better? Do you like the classic? Do you like the pearl? You like the red? And I'm like, all right, great. I'm like, well, hey, the homemaker is the best value for the average family. And it starts with your air knife. All right. Um, and so now I'm going to go through um, the tools here. All right. I want you guys to write this down. This is a phrase that my manager taught me. Um, well, it's two part phrase. All right. And so it's this. I'm putting it in here. The next tool in your set is, and then you're going to say the nickname. All right. You're going to say the nickname and then you're going to say, all right. So the next tool in your set, you're going to say the nickname and you're going to say, um, uh, do you ever, all right, cut, do you ever, um, cut and you're going to give, uh, names and uses like examples. All right. Until they say yes. And so what my manager taught me, all right. Um, and again, this is in the chat and I'm going to just going to pop it up here on the screen um, uh, as well. All right. Let me pop this up here. So you guys make sure you guys have this. All right. Um, uh, is do. All right. The next tool in your set is and then do you ever cut? So you guys tell me unmute yourselves. There's a lot of psychology here. My manager taught me, he's like, this is every time you go through a tour, like, oh, the next tool in your set is, you know, the air knife. Do you guys ever cut like bananas for cereal or top off strawberries or, you know, pit, uh, avocados or my mommy's air, apples in the air, like she's Huck Finn or peaches or anything like that. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, or peel platanos, like, you know, we do plantains or potatoes in the air, my grandma. Um, uh, and so um, talk to me here. So one what is our objective? What are we wanting to make sure that they're saying when we ask, do you ever cut this or this or that? What do we want to hear? Yes, you want to have yes. a connection between the product and of course them. Absolutely. So you want them going, oh yeah, I use that. Oh yeah, I use that. Oh yeah, I use that. That's your objective, all right? Objective, again, um, uh, is get a yes. Um, uh, yes on each tool, all right? So when you guys look at this, what stands out from this phrase that my manager taught me? What stands out here for you guys um, over here on the next one your set is, do you ever cut blank? What stands out? What words, psychologically speaking, what words stand out? You and your. Absolutely. All right. Your set. What else? Um, you, because they're directing the question directly to uh whoever you're speaking to. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, and that's, that's, you know, more you're chatting with them, but yeah, uh, we'll take that. What else? Oh, There's, set. what'd you say? Set. Yep. All right. Uh, absolutely. So we're talking about the word set, like we talked about before. What else? Tool. 
You don't use one tool for everything. So, right, we're not saying knife, we're saying tools, right? Because there's different tools for different jobs, just like a mechanic. So psychologically, you need different tools. You don't buy even a wrench. You have different sizes, right? There's a wrench set. Um, so different tools for different jobs, all right? And the last one is the word ever, all right? And so when you use this uh, phrase, it helps you get a lot more yeses, right? So if I'm like, hey, Pedro, um, uh, or hey, Tyrone, um, or hey, Arturo, hey, the next tool. So I'm like, so the first tool in your set is your um, air knife. I'm like, do you guys ever cut anything in the air, like peeling, paring, topping off, you know? And so you're giving the names and uses, but after the phrase, do you guys ever cut da 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 And they're like, oh yeah, we do that sometimes. And I'm like, all right, awesome. I'm like, here's what you would use for your air knives, but you never want to use it on the board. That's why we have your small utility trimmer. Cool. So the next tool in your set is your small utility. It's called the trimmer. Um, uh, and that's the next tool in your set. Do you guys ever cut um, like limes or lemons for your Coronas? They're like, yeah, I'm like, or have you ever cut a tomato with a dull knife, right? And you like the polka didn't go around it. Um, or do you cut like oranges, um, uh, star fruit, uh, trimming fat off of meats, deboning, de-skinning, you know, butterflying chickens. Do you guys ever do anything like that? I'm like, yeah, 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 of course. I'm like, cool. This is your great for citrus, all your small slicing. You know, you can also use it for X, Y, and Z, like as you learn how to keep using more. And so the next one you're set is your spatula spreader, um, uh, your sandwich making machine. I'm like, do you guys ever make sandwiches or do like peanut butter and jelly or spread mayo or mustard on sandwiches or like to cut it? Or do you guys ever do lasagnas or pies or brownies um, or cakes, ice cut and serve a cake, you know? And as you're going through, what, what is almost every single mom going to say? If you're like, oh, do you guys ever make brownies or cakes or lasagnas or, you know, quiche or make a sandwich or whatever? Like, yeah, of course. I'm like, awesome. I'm like, this is your sandwich making machine. It's also fantastic for desserts and things in dishes because you can cut it, scoop it, serve it. You have one tool to clean, all right? The next tool in your set is your large utility. Do you guys ever um, uh, have uh, medium sized fruits or vegetables or leftover carving? Or have you ever bought one of those rotisserie chickens at like Walmart or Whole Foods or Costco or whatever that's already ready to go to eat? Um, this is really great for that, right? And we keep going through there. But it's the next one your set is blank and use the nickname. Uh, why do, do you think we want to use the nickname? Instead of saying the next one your set is the um, chef knife, the next one the set is the butcher knife, the next one the set is the trimmer, the next one the set is the pairing. Why do you think it's better to use the nickname? Sounds more unique. They connect with the tool better. Cool. Um, uh, and so uh, when later, right, let's say later, Arturo, you're going through the sets, right? And I say to you, and let's say this is our first, you've never, this is the first time you're seeing Cutco, right? And I'm telling you, oh, this set has the paring knife and the trimmer and the chef knife and the butcher and the, they're like, wait, which one was that, right? Versus if I go, oh, Arturo, this one has the air knife, the small utility, the chopping knife, the heavy duty, and the turning fork. They're like, oh, they know what comes in it. Does that make sense? They connect with the tool better with the nickname. Can I get a thumbs up if you guys got that? All right. Um, uh, so back to here. So as you're going through here, your objective is not that they um, watch the whole video. Your objective is they say yes and you move on. All right. So when I'm going through here, I'm like, hey, so the first one you're set is your uh, air knife. Right. And I put the video on. Uh, I always turn the volume off personally. Um, uh, I just shut it off. And I'm like, so do you guys ever do any peeling in the air, topping off strawberries, cutting bananas for cereal, cutting avocado? Like, and when they go, oh, yeah, we do that. I'm like, oh, awesome. That's what you use that for. And anything else in the air, never on the board. That's why we have your small utility. I'm like, so the next one you're set, it's called your trimmer. It's your small utility tool for small fruits and veggies. I'm like, do you guys ever like trim fat off of meats or ever do some small slicing? Um, oh my gosh, have you ever cut a tomato with a dull knife before? And they're like, oh yeah. Um, and I'm like, this is really great for all your limes and lemons for your Coronas, oranges, grapefruits. Like just think this size, any of your small slicing, that's what it's used. So you see how you'd use that? And they're like, oh yeah, absolutely. And I go next. I don't need to keep watching the video. Once they say yes, I hit my objective. Everyone got that? Objective is not watch the full video. Objective is they say yes. The next tool in your set is your uh, sandwich making machine. I'm like, this sucker is awesome. I'm like, do you guys ever make sandwiches or spread stuff on bread or crackers or ever do like pies or quiches or lasagnas or brownies? I'm like, this thing is really incredible because, and they're like, oh yeah, we do that. I'm like, awesome. I'm like, so this is nice because you can spread with it. You can cut with it. 
and you have one tool to clean versus having to have multiple. If you have a cake, you can ice the cake, you can cut it, you can serve it, and you have one tool to clean. Um, and so it makes it really nice. So again, things and dishes, desserts, sandwiches, um, uh, you're going to use the heck out of this. Um, uh, I know I use this like multiple times a day. <laughs> so uh, this is awesome. Um, uh, the next tool, and they're like, oh, that's amazing. I'm like, you're going to love that knife. Um, like the next tool in your set is your larger utility. Okay. Um, and so this right here is really good for me medium-sized fruits and veggies, leftover carving. I'm um, like, have you guys ever bought, um, I'm like, are you guys people that buy stuff whole in the supermarket or pre-cut? Um, uh, and the, let's say they say pre-cut, all right? Or if they say whole, I'm like, well, the reason a lot of people do pre -cut, do you know why? Um, and again, I'm turn it off. I'm like, do you know why a lot of people do pre-cut? It's easier, right? Um, and it's just like, they don't have good knives. But when you have a good knife, it makes it so much faster. I'm like, you can even buy a pineapple I'm like, and cut it in like less than a minute. And you have so much, you can buy a pineapple for a couple bucks and you get like double or two and a half times what you would in a container that you're paying like $6 for it to be pre-cut, you know? Uh, so when you have good knives, you see how easy that is? It just goes right through and makes it really easy. And like, oh, wow. I'm like, and you can use it together um, with the turning fork um, for like carving small things. Or you can use the fork separate for picking stuff up, taking things out of jars or serving. And they're like, oh, that's great. I'm like, all right. And then the last couple of things, next tool in your set is your butcher. All right, this is your heavy duty. Um, do you guys ever have like stuff in the freezer, do bulk buying, do root vegetables, you know, or bigger melons? Um, like this is really nice. You know, you can whack with it, lobster tails, ribs. Um, you can cut bigger melons uh, with it, um, but it would be like your heavy duty, kind of like your Aladdin knife. I'm like, it's a protector of the basic set. You can just whack and they're like, oh, cool. Um, uh, and I'm like, and a lot of people confuse this with the next tool. And so the next tool in your set is your chef. This is your delicate chopper, okay? And so do you guys ever see the chefs on TV chopping stuff up? And you're like, it does not look like that in my house. <laughs> and so this is made to actually have like a rocking motion. Um, uh, so once you've done slices, you can just go and you can mince it and chop it really easy. I'm like, do you guys ever do omelets or like my mom, she cuts onions and celery for our tuna when we do like tuna salad, or if we make uh, like a potato salad, or if I'm making like ceviche, I chop up onions and peppers and cilantro and stuff for it. Like, so this just makes dicing and chopping so much easier. Like, oh, okay, perfect. I'm like, and lastly, you have your bread and your master carving set. I'm like, so the next tool in your set is your bread knife. Um, is the best breast knife in the world, you know, and you go through, but you guys get the point, right? I just basically did my names and uses for you, by the way. It's exactly how I do it with a customer. Um, uh, and then once we finish those, you know, we show them the table knives. Guys, those things are unbelievable. Um, and so building that up, I'm like, most people like to add extras. Um, uh, to their set. And then we also, for those who like the feel of a larger steak knife, uh, we do have um, our, our steak knives, which you can see the difference. Uh, it's, it's a larger, larger handle, um, a longer blade, you know, especially for Texans, they love their Texas style steak knives. Uh, so those are uh, very popular. And those do come in the two larger set options. So in the signature set, as well as in the complete set, they have the option of the table knives or steak knives. All right. And they're like, all right, sweet. Um, uh, and then we go through the storage options with them, you know, show them the accessories and we go into summary. Everyone good so far? All right. Um, uh, and then here, you guys just want to make sure you speak when we get into closing. This is what my manager told me. You've got to be like, you're sitting in a hot tub. You got to be like chilling, uh, laid back. All right. Um, uh, especially me, I'm a fast talker. So he was like, you got to slow down. A confused mind doesn't buy. Okay. So just don't forget that. And so you have to go um, step by step as you guys go through here. All right. So once I start this part here, I'm like, all right, cool. So um, let me review why so many people choose to invest in Kako. You always have sharp American made knives that are comfortable, safe, and sanitary. Cutco is guaranteed to last forever. So it's actually the last set of knives you're ever going to buy. Cutco saves a lot of money. So most customers who buy Cutco, they end up eating out less. And so let's say that just saves you like 60 bucks a month. That's $720 saved a year. And so over 25 years, you're saving over $18,000. Okay. Um, and so, and do you guys notice how much slower for me I am? than the other part. And so I go through names and you're pretty, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then you have this and, you know, we're going through pretty quick. And I'm like, all right, so let me review why so many people. So I slow down and I'm like, so 
several reasons why so many customers choose sets. You know, Cutco sets have the right tool for the right job. They have a built-in discount, so it's cheaper. They come with a free cutting board, so you get free stuff. Uh, sets are much safer because they actually come in a blocker tray to protect it. And we have interest-free investment monthly options, so you don't have to pay for it all at once, all right? Um, and so, Auntie, when it comes to high-quality cutlery, there's like it's like anything else. There's a wide variety of quality and prices. Cutco is top-rated, so we only compare the highest quality brands, all right? And so, y'all, let me, let me tell you this real quick. When it comes to closing, there's three parts to the closing, all right? The first part is the compare uh, the comparison, which is page nine, all right? Um, that's the comparison. Um, uh, then the next part is the price presentation, uh, which is letting them know the prices, cool? And then the third part is actually letting them know about the buy now and asking, do you want to try it today? All right. And so um, some people are really good. They go too fast in the comparison or they don't build up the competition and they ruin their closing there. Some people, when they quote their prices, they don't quote prices properly. Um, they're too fast or they don't have customers write it down or they're saying, oh, ours is 1,549 instead of ours is 1549, right? And like just the psychology with closing numbers, there's different parts you can mess up. And so I just wanna go through like just a couple quick tips as you're going through here. And then the last thing is you gotta actually ask for the order. You know, one of my guys, Ryan Stoffer, um, when he first started, you know, he was in training and we were like, oh, this kid's gonna crush it. You know, great attitude, um, really personable, um, you know, good looking kid, played baseball, you know, had a lot of connections and we're like, oh, he's gonna crush it. He sold zero his first weekend. Or I think he might've sold one knife. He saw like six customers, six Mac customers or seven. And I remember I was like, hey, who are you seeing? He's like, oh, they're Macs. I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, that just, I'm like, I've never gone like 0 for 7 with Mac customers. Um, and I said, let me just see your demo. You know, he did his demo for me. He did a great job, but not here. Uh, he did a great job with the comparison. He did a great job um, telling me the price. And after he told me the price, he smiled. And he looked at me and I looked back at him. And then he said, do you want me to show you some smaller stuff? I said, sure. And so he dropped down and he showed me the smaller stuff. And then he looked at me and he's like, did you like anything? And I was like, oh yeah, this stuff is awesome. And he's like, do you want me to show you accessories? I was like, please show me accessories. And then he's like, did you see anything there you liked? I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. Absolutely. And he was like, okay, cool. And he smiled at me and I smiled back. And then he said, um, Okay, well, um, uh, let me tell you about, um, you know, my recommendations, um, or how, what, I don't know what he said, but he transitioned to referrals. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, what happened? I said, you never asked me if I wanted to buy. And he was like, what do you mean? I did. I was like, no, you didn't. I said, you asked me if I liked anything. You asked me or something. I'm like, yeah, I loved everything. I'm like, but you never said I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you if you'd like to try out the homemaker and get it today. And y'all, the fact is they weren't planning on buying when you booked the appointment. And then once they see the presentation, they're like, wow, this stuff is amazing. And now they want to get something where they weren't planning on it before. All right. And so you have to actually ask for the sale. Um, uh, and, and, and I told him this and he's like, I don't know, you know, and he didn't think that made a true story. Later that week, I got a call from a customer to my office and they said, hi, um, I, I got your number from Oli in New York. You know, I wanted to order. Uh, I said a Cutco uh, Galleria set, which is the galley. And I was like, oh, the galley. I was like, with the six table knife. She's like, yes, yes, yes. I said, okay, no, no worries. I can help you with that. I said, do you own Cutco already? You know, because um, typically if someone calls the office, like they own Cutco, you know, and they just like call in. And, and she said, oh, no, I don't. I'm like, oh, really? I said, well, hey, if you'd like, I can have one of our representatives come and do like do a presentation so you can see everything, um, you know, check out, like just fully understand the product and what you're getting and help you get the best, um, you know, the best, the best product for you. Or maybe there's some extra free stuff you can get. Thinking maybe she, you know, had never seen it um, or she saw it a long time ago, right? If she knew Cutco. And she's like, oh, I've already seen a presentation. I'm like, oh, how long ago did you see it? And she goes, last weekend. And I was like, wait, what? Like in my head. And I was like, huh? And she goes, oh, I saw it last weekend. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, where do you live? And she told me the area, which was in my chair. And I said, I said, oh, okay. I said, do you remember who you saw? And she's like, oh, my friend's son. He plays baseball, green eyes, really great kid. Going to school. And I was like, oh, Ryan. She's like, yes, yes, Ryan, Ryan. Yes. So I just slipped his mind, you know, his name slipped my mind. And she said, oh my gosh, 
Just so you know, he did a fantastic job. The only thing is he didn't tell me where I could actually buy some. That's exactly what she said to me. And uh, she's like, but he did great. And so I just found Cutco online and, you know, just uh, figured I, I'd call because I wanted to get some. <laughs> and I wrote up an order for him that day for, you know, but I didn't give it to him. It was mine. I spent the money on him. I took him to dinner. Uh, but I, uh, I, I wrote the order and I remember the team meeting, I was like, oh, I, I forgot her name is Brenda or something, but I said, she, um, you know, bought a, a galley. She's like, oh, he's like, that's my customer. I was like, no, I said, that's my customer. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, she called me and I, I, I wrote up an order for her and he's like, but that's why. And I said, you didn't ask for the order. I was like, Ryan, you have to ask for the order. Like there, most people are not thinking of buying when they book the appointment. They're just like, yeah, I'll help you do a quick appointment. No problem. You know, it helps you. Um, you get paid to do it. No, no worries. Once they see the product, they're like, oh, wow. And and six out of 10 end up deciding to buy something. And when you're good, eight out of 10 or more end up deciding to buy something where they weren't planning on before. All right. Uh, but it's not until you pose that question of, Hey, do you want to go ahead and get that today? That that clicks. Everyone got that. So really important uh, that you guys uh, walk through that process uh, with them. All right. Um, so again, let me give you some tips real quick on the closing. And I'm going to show you a secret weapon that my manager taught me that helped me close so many uh, more sales when I started off. All right. So a couple things on the, on the comparison that you want to make sure you know. So, and just for you, so you understand this. So right here, when we're telling them, uh, Miss Susie, when it comes to high quality, um, there's a wide variety of quality and prices. What you're saying to Miss Susie is, um, I know that, that not, that, that things are, that, um, there's different quality and prices available, right? Like I'm aware there's a spectrum in pricing, but then what do we say? Cutco is top rated. So we only compare to the highest quality brands. So psychologically, what you're saying is um, like you're letting them know why you're about to show them expensive stuff, right? Like, so they're not price shock. And so you're like, Cutco's top rated. So we only compare to the highest quality brands. And they're like, oh, okay. So you're setting the stage. You don't want to skip that because you're setting the stage. And you're like, so have you heard of Wusta, right? And you let them know these are top. So this right here, when you say each brand has different types of sets, which range in price. This is really important because let's say Arturo, you see somebody and they own Wustoff, right? Uh, but they have Wustoff Classic um, that they purchase at Macy's. Well, a Wustoff Classic, you can purchase for $1,500 or during sales, you could get it for $1,100 or $1,200. So when you're telling Miss Susie that the Wustoff is three grand, what is she saying in her head? No, it's not, Arturo. It was $1,500 and I paid $1,200. You don't know what you're talking about. Everyone got that? And so that's it's really important to set the stage and make sure they know uh, each brand has different types of sets, which range in price. My manager told me to, to say like BMW. That's a great example. Okay, everyone knows BMW and it has three series and five series and seven series have been around forever. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but what do we know? The higher number, the higher price, right? Seven series cost the most, or I mean, there's like the faster ones and all that, the, the racing ones. But just in general, between a, a three series, a five series or seven series, the one that costs more is a seven series, right? So when you're saying, hey, each brand has different si types of sets, which range in price, you can, you can say like BMW, you know how they have three, five, seven series and seven is the most. So this is their best, cool. So Wustoff is the most popular and the price for this Wustoff, this is the seven series Wustoff, um, is 3015 and you can find it on sale um, during like holidays and stuff um, for like, uh, you know, uh, $2,300. All right. Um, and even for that type of money, it's definitely well worth it. Like that is the best you can get in stores. So you want to build them up. When I was newer, I would be like, like um, uh, one of my guys was like, isn't that crazy? Or isn't that so much for knives? How do you ever expect to sell uh, signatures and complete sets if you're telling people they're crazy for spending two or three grand? The fact is, if you're buying a great home appliance, that's what it costs, all right? So anyway, so the price for this, this is their top. Their um, their seven series is is over three grand. You can find them on sale for uh, 23. But now she knows, oh, I probably got the like three series, right? Like she knows she doesn't have the top one, the, the Blackwood um, uh, or whatever. She has the classic, you know, the classic icon versus the basic classic. Those are very different. 
um, and price. So there are some major differences between these brands and Cutco. Um, and so now we talk about the difference. So here's what my manager told me. He's like, cause I was like, oh, you know, they're not as good as us. Or I like, I didn't want to build them up too high. Right. McKenna, I was like, you know, I'm just going to build them to here. And he's like, no, you want to tell, Hey, this is the top in source this is the best and, and you want to build them up because then when you say, Hey, Arturo, here's how we compare. We're better. Everyone see this. The higher you build them up, the higher you're building us up. And so if you only build them to here, you know, but if you build them to here, you're like, oh, here's what we can we're better. Um, you're actually helping build yourself up. And I didn't realize that when I was new. All right. So you're like, yeah, so these are top, they're best in stores. And even for that type of money, they're definitely well worth it. Um, like there's some major differences between us and them though. And now we go over the differences and you talk about how they have to be resharpened, you know, which is kind of a hassle. They're not recommended for the dishwasher. And I'm like, in comparison, Cutco has the unique wedge lock handle to stay sharp. We have the forever, um, you know, sharpness. Um, so Cutco owners, and this is a great place to say, like my mom, like my aunt, like Johnny's dad. And um, by the way, Johnny who hopped on, he's in the other room working right now. Johnny's dad has had Cutco for 60 years. It was actually his dad's. It was Johnny's grandpa's back in the day. And so you can use examples, or if you guys know people that own Cutco for a long time, or you bump into people who have Cutco, share that. So Cutco owners like my parents, or Cutco owners like my best friend's parents, Miss Elaine from my church, um, uh, you know, my youth pastor, like they'll all tell you it's like 10 times better than any knives they've ever used. But just considering the unique features, um, the guaranteeing unique features, most people would agree that Cutco is at least twice as good as Rustoff. And when something offers twice the quality and twice the value and lasts forever, what would you expect in price? Yeah, twice the price, right? And at twice the price, you're talking over uh, $4,600 for a set of Cutco. And Miss Susie, can you do me a favor and grab a piece of paper? Can you grab a piece of paper real quick? And can you um, write down on the top left corner? And again, this is where I like to have my notebook um, so I can just write it down and show them what to write because I'm typically in person or on video um, and I can write down what it is. So I'm like, so Miss Susie, um, uh, that is, um, go ahead and write down uh, 4,600 um, uh, uh, here at the top. Okay. Um, so you have that. So it would be like buying a really nice set of um, like a really nice home appliance, like a nice fridge or a nice sofa set or a really nice dining table, you know. Um, let me see here. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, is, is what that would be like. All right. Or like a really nice set of snap-ons or craftsman tools for the garage. Um, uh, now our homemaker plus, and guys leave it there. When I was new, I was like, oh, don't worry. It's not like, no, let them swallow hard and put that together. So again, when you guys say this, when you say, Hey, you're talking over $4,600, go ahead and add, make a note for yourself. It's like buying a really nice, um, uh, you know, home appliance, a really nice refrigerator or a really nice sofa set or, you know, dining room table, or like a really nice set of snap on or craftsman tools for the garage. So Miss Susie, our homemaker plus eight um, is our most popular option. This one right here that I showed you, uh, it's perfect for families that cook two to four times a week. It has the 10 basic tools I explained earlier. It has the eight table knives, the wood block, the cutting board, and a sharpener for straight edges. The great thing is that it doesn't cost $4,600, although it would be if it was sold in stores. Go ahead and cross that out on your paper, okay? Cross that out on your paper. And underneath it, can you write down 3015 All right, go ahead and write down 3015 So that's the price of the Wustoff that I was showing you in stores, the retail price, okay? Um, uh, and so the fact is it doesn't even cost as much as this. So you can go ahead and cross that out as well, all right? Um, uh, the Homemaker Plus 8 is actually uh, only $1,549. So it's actually half the price then the top stuff that you're going to get in stores, okay? Um, the regular retail price of it. So pretty cool. And that includes shipping. And most of our customers, you know, and this is something my manager taught me. He's like, I'm assuming you didn't put aside a couple grand waiting for the knife girl. Uh, and so most of our customers take advantage of our five-month interest-free um, easy pay, uh, which is only... Uh, 313 today. Um, and it doesn't even cost as much as the Wustoff price, you know? And so I show them, I'm like, so uh, you could pay in full if you wanted to, but uh, Ms. McKenna, Mr. Arturo, most people don't. Most people use our deposit program. All right. 
And this is something my manager taught me. Everyone write this down. There's a different way of explaining the payment options. Um, and you guys tell me why this, why you sell more often. When you do what I'm about to do, you will sell more often, higher closing, and you will have a higher average order. Tell me why. Check this out. Ready? So Arturo, um, uh, so you could pay in full, but what most people do is they actually use our deposit program. All right. And so what that is, it's a hundred percent refundable. And if you want to write this on your paper too, so you have it, it's a hundred percent refundable security deposit. All right. That lets you try out the products. You have three weeks to try it out and just see how you like it. Okay. So 100% refundable deposit, if you want to write this down, 100% refundable deposit, three weeks to try it out, cool? So any set that you want to try out, you can put down a 20% deposit on the set, all right, um, is what it would be, and you can try it out for three weeks. Worst case scenario, you send it back, you get 100% of your money back. Cool. Worst case scenario. You had free cut code for three weeks. All right, Miss McKenna. Uh, worst case. Uh, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. Everybody freaking loves this stuff. So you have one of two options. Either one, you can call and pay the whole thing off. Okay. Uh, or you can do the easy pay. And the easy pay is the same amount for the next four months. It's interest free. And it would basically come out to you'd want to put aside 70. If you want to write this down, it's 78 bucks a week in the budget, all right? So you wanna put aside 78 bucks a week in the budget, uh, which basically, if you guys split it between the both of you guys, it would come out to about 37 bucks a week that you'd wanna put aside, all right? So that's what that looks like. So um, uh, we have something called a buy now bonus. And a buy now bonus is a reason to buy now uh, versus, you know, waiting till later to incentive to buy now. So if you guys wanted to try out this set today, you could actually get the free scissors or the kitchen tools or some of the gadgets that I showed you as a free gift. Cool. So I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. Uh, I know you guys weren't planning on getting anything, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. Do you want to try this set out? You could pay for it in full or just due to the deposit. So you can try it out, see how you like it, and then just go from there. Cool? So, Daniel, why do you think we sell when you close like this? When my manager taught me this, and I've taught this to so many people, um, all my All-American Scholarship winners, Silver Cup winners, like this is how they close. It's called the trial close, all right? Why do you think they sell more often? Why do you think they have a higher average order? Because it gives more options for the customer to to give them a chance to at least establish a payment role with, with us. Okay. With five months payment, five months payment with them. All right. What else? McKenna, Arturo. Why else do you think doing this like this, you sell more often and you have a higher average order? Because uh, you're giving the customer the option, you know, to either try it out in case they did like it or don't. And then, you know, once they do, you know, like you said, they probably will like it. They try it out. They buy more stuff. Or even By the way, I'm looking, for something, I'm looking for something super simple. When you do this, like this, and you say it's a 100% refundable deposit, you have three weeks to try it out. What does that make the customer feel? The urgency? Well, actually... Two things. One, more comfortable. Are you not more comfortable? I'm not having to make a full commitment of $1,500 today, right? It's more comfortable to say, oh, I'm going to put down a $300 deposit and it's 100% refundable. Everyone got that? It's more comfortable. All right. Um, uh, and they're not having to make a decision yet. Um, human beings have problems with commitment, all right? Uh, and so um, you're, you're asking them to make a big commitment right off the bat and they haven't even tried the products yet. All right. So by presenting it like this, it makes them feel more comfortable to want to try it out and they're not having to fully commit yet. So for humans, that helps a lot when it comes to psychology and y'all closing a sale is all about finding your customer's comfort zone. All right. And so this right here, um, I'm telling y'all, if you guys utilize this, I remember Elias Palacios, his first weekend, he did 11 appointments. 
and he had three sales. All right. And I remember he was like super bummed out. He's like, man, you know, like I didn't tell. And like, when I taught him this and what I'm about to show you, uh, with the, um, uh, with the, um, trade in special, uh, that I'm about to show you. Okay. Uh, when I showed him this, he was like, Oh my gosh. Um, and, and that next week, like he went three for 11, his first weekend for $400. He finished his fast start selling $8,000 and making $1,600 in his pocket. All right. Um, uh, just th those two things were the two biggest things that helped him was the deposit close. All right. Trial close or deposit close. Um, instead of, do you want to buy today? Yes or no. It was, Hey, you could pay for it all now. But most people like to do our deposit program. It lets you put down a hundred percent refundable deposit to just try it out, see how you like it, and then go from there. Cool. The deposit is this. It's a hundred percent refundable. Again, you're writing it all down so that they can look at it. And so as they're thinking, they're like, "We could do that, right?" They're not committing yet. They're like, "Let's try it out. Let's see how it is. What's the worst case? We get our money back, right?" Um, uh, and so it's a it's a risk free. It's more comfortable. All right. Um, and so he did that. And like, we saw those orders go up. And so I had someone once ask, well, how about if people send it back? I'm like, when they get it, they're only more excited, you know, but if, if that ever happened, like you might have someone that had an emergency or something came up or a car, like you still had, if you had five more people buy that wouldn't have bought and one sent it back, you still had four more sales that you wouldn't have gotten if you did it the other way, you know? Um, so it really does make a really big difference. And then the trade-in special that I'm about to show you guys. All right. So before we do that, we're going to do real quick and we're just going to practice uh, doing it that way. All right. And I'm going to give you guys the verbiage right here so that you have it um, uh, with, uh, you know, how to say the deposit um, uh, or, I mean, you might just say it from how you heard me say it, but I do have it typed out. Um, so if you want, um, you know, if you, if you want to screenshot this, so you have the verbiage. All right. Um, uh, let me go ahead and share my screen and you guys can screenshot this real quick. All right. Um, uh, and we're gonna, we're just gonna role play this real quick. Um, so it just has how to say it. So you're just like, instead of saying, Hey, people use the five month interest free or whatever, you're just gonna say, Hey, a lot of people like to do our hundred percent refundable deposit, or they like to do our deposit program. Um, and then you explain it. This allows you to put a hundred percent refundable deposit, try out the product, see how you like it, you know, and go through. So screenshot this. All right. Cause I'm going to put you guys in rooms right now and just give you five minutes to just do that. Um, uh, role play that back and forth a couple of times to just get comfortable with that. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and stop my screen share. Um, uh, so um, any questions you guys had going through that? Um, uh, by the way, if you guys Don't start doing so. that, it's, um, it's a, it's a game changer with your results, with your averages. Like, so it's just, again, very laid back. You're like, oh, so Miss Susie, the price for the homemaker is 1549. And I'm like, so you could pay for it all today. I'm like, but I'm assuming you didn't put a couple grand waiting for the knife girl to call. Right. Uh, so what most of my customers like to do is use our deposit program. And so what that lets you do is put down a hundred percent refundable deposit when you write it out. Um, and it gives you three weeks to try out the products and see how you like it. Um, and so the deposit would come out to this. Um, like, and then after the three weeks, you can either call and pay the whole thing off um, or you can, um, you know, do the easy pay, which is the same amount, you know, each month here. Um, like, so basically um, you would want to put aside and I write out 78 bucks a week in the budget, 37 bucks a week. Um, uh, and I have that, right? And I'm like, cause I just, you know, want them to look to see, is that something they feel comfortable squeezing into the budget, right? Um, uh, so then I tell them uh, buy now bonus. And then I say, so I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask, do you want to try out the homemaker? You could pay in full or just put the deposit so you can try it out for three weeks, see how you like it. And then just go from there. Right. And they're like, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. You're going to sell more when you do that. The second thing that I was saying that I taught Elias was the trade in special. All right. Now, who here knows um, uh, what a um, like that you can trade in a car at a dealership and get credit for the car? Raise your hand if you're aware of that. You know that trade in specials. All right. Does anyone know why they do that? Like, why do they offer that as a possibility? Any guesses? Why would a, why would a car dealership offer the ability for you to trade in your car? Because you could say, I already have a car, right? So they're saying, hey, I know you have a car, 
but I know you want that newer car. So if you trade in your vehicle, we'll give you credit for it, whatever it is, a couple grand or whatever it is, so that you can get money for yours, but then get the new car you want. Cool. So they're handling the objection of, I already have a car. So the car dealership say, hey, we know you probably already have a car. Great. We'll give you credit for it, right? You can trade it in, get some money for it and get your new car. Everyone good? We do the same thing. So most people you're seeing should already have knives, right? <laughs> most people who have a house, who have a kitchen, have knives. And so uh, that is something we do as well, all right? So this is great when you have customers who say, oh, my knives are fine for now, uh, or if they just bought a new set recently, you know, and they're like, oh, I don't know if we need them yet, right? Um, and I'm like, all right. I'm like, well, hey, did you like Cutco? I'm like, is it something that you'd want to get in the future? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, all right. I'm like, well, we have something called a trade-in special. I'm like, you know how you can trade in a car at a dealership and you get credit for your car? Like they give you a discount or free stuff or like, you know, a, a monetary credit for the old car. I'm like, you can do the same thing here. Um, like, and um, basically what, if it's good, it's going to get donated to people in need. Cool. If it's not, it's going to get recycled. Uh, it doesn't matter what condition they're in. The discounts and free stuff are the same. Uh, it's just an incentive to, to get rid of yours, either give it to people who need it or get it recycled and get you into your product that you're going to have for the rest of your life. Okay. Uh, so um, with that homemaker that you liked, Miss Susie, uh, if you guys wanted to um, uh, you know, get that set, you could actually trade in um, any of your old stuff and you could either get um, a $220 discount or you could pick out $425 of whatever you want for free. I'm like, would that interest you at all? And what do you think, guys, if they like that set? Do you think that interests them? Oh, heck yeah. All right. Uh, if they don't want that set, no worries. We just have to down to the galley, right? And we show them that. And sometimes they'll go, Arturo, can I do that trade-in thing with this? All right. Any set that has table knives, you can do it. Okay. Because we're playing with the table knives for free is what we do for the discounts. But anyway, any set that has table knives, we can discount the set. Okay. Um, uh, or we can do free stuff. Write this down on your notes. Free stuff is always better than discounts. All right. Free stuff is always better than discounts. Y'all, it's better for you and it's better for your customer, all right? It's better for you and it's better for your customer. Uh, they get more for their money, all right? And you're getting a bigger sale uh, when we're able to um, get, you know, get the free stuff for them, all right? So again, discount is always better. Um, uh, I mean, sorry, free stuff is always better than a discount, all right? Um, uh, so if we're on the homemaker, like, oh, Arturo, can I do that with that one or with the, with the galley? Uh, you're like, yeah, you can. Be like, you have two options. You can either do like 180 bucks off or you can get $300 of whatever you want for free. What would you prefer? And do you guys see how I get more excited with the free stuff? Because I want them to pick that. It's better for them and it's better for me. All right. So um, this right here, um, just so y'all um, see this, basically when we have, um, I, I put this in the, the chat. You guys want to download it so that you have it. All right. And this explains um, the secret weapon. You're like, this is a program where you can offer the discount um, so they can get a discount for trading in old knives, but no free stuff, or um, uh, they can get um, a bunch of stuff for free. All right. And so again, this is great when they say, I love it, but the price is too high, you know, or that's too much money, or they say, oh, I've already spent money on knives, or I already own Henkels or Wustoff or Shun, right? I saw a customer and they had a, a Henkel set, um, and, and they'd had them, you know, for like 10 years um, or no, no, actually they had them like seven years and they're like, well, they still work. Okay. I mean, we know we're going to have to replace them. And I said, let me ask you guys. I'm like, whenever you're ready to replace your knives is Cutco, like now that you know of Cutco, is Cutco what you want? And the wife immediately was like, oh yes, absolutely. I was like, okay. Uh, and I said, all right, awesome. I said, well, just so you know, you know, we have something called, and I told them about the trade. And I said, I just like customers to know that because 
Um, uh, you know, later on, it's going to every two years, we go up in price, just like everything in the world. Um, and so you're going to get the best deal. Now you're going to get free stuff. I'm like, it's going to get donated and you're never going to have to buy them again. I go, so we have this deal available. And I told her about it and she was like, oh my gosh. And the husband's like, honey, it makes sense. You know, is Cutco what we're going to get when we buy the next set of knives? Let's just do it now. Let's trade them in. Let's get the free stuff. Let's hook up the kitchen and we never have to think about this again. And I was like, cool, you know, and they ended up buying, right? That's not going to happen every time, but give them that option. You will have way more sales that were on the fence by using the trade in special. All right. So, um, uh, Arturo, can you read this out loud for me, please? All right. So again, this is when they feel maybe the price a little bit more or like my knives are fine, um, but they really like it. Um, uh, and I'm like, so we have a special I think you'll really like. Here's how it works. So go ahead and explain it here. So it's kind of like when you go to a dealership and you want to buy a car, but you already have a working car. Uh, what they do, they let you do with your car. Or what do they let you do with your car? Oh, you could trade it in. Yeah, yeah, you trade it in. So same thing here with your knives. Uh, what you can do is you trade in a few of your old knives and we give a major discount on a set of Cutco. So instead of, you know, 3000 or 352 uh, you can get the ultimate set for only 3000 and that's a saving of 550 or you can pay regular price and get 750 worth of for free. Uh, does that sound like a better option? Ooh, okay. Right. And so this is with the complete set, right? So you're letting them know they can pay the regular price. Um, you know, instead of 30, uh, 35, 52, um, they can get the set for only 3000, which is a savings of five fifty. Um, or they can pay the regular price and get $750 of whatever they want for free. Does that option sound better? Um, and many, most of my customers did the free stuff, you know, um, or if they were looking at the Homemaker, so this has the ultimate with steak, the ultimate with table, the signature with steak, the signature with table, the homemaker plus eight, the galley plus six, the essentials plus five, and the studio plus four. Cool. And so it has the options. And so you always want to pick free stuff. If they pick free stuff, super easy. All you're doing is writing up their order, adding the free stuff, mark it all for free, and you're done, right? If they pick the discount, this is why we say they can do a discount, all right? with no free stuff, right? Because we are doing free stuff. The way we get the discount, do you guys see what we're doing? Is we're charging them for some, we're not telling them this, it's just how the company does, it's called a B-block special. And so the company, we are charging them for two of the table knives and we're giving them 10 for free. That's how we got the discount. Okay. Um, uh, and so here we're charging them for two and they're getting 10 for free. Uh, here we're charging them for one and they're getting five for free. Here they're charging for one and getting three for free. You guys see that? So if they ever pick the discount, this is how to write it up and we'll help you guys with it. Um, in, in your app, it says B block special because that's the, the bigger block. And so they're getting the homemaker, a basic homemaker with the space for the table knives. They're paying for two table knives and we're giving them the rest for free. All right. So again, don't worry. Oh my God, I don't understand. Like just discount or free stuff. If you do the discount, don't offer more for free because we're already using the free point um, uh, availability. Cool. If y'all don't know this, write this down. For every $100 somebody spends, we have an allowance of $20 um, for free. All right. That's how much free stuff you're able to give. So any Ola, if you're doing a demo and they're buying $300 of product from you, how much do you know you can give away for free? Three. Um, uh, yeah, if they're buying $300, they can get 60 bucks for free. Cool. Uh, if they're buying $500, how much? $100. And guys, if you want to make this really easy, write this down. Divide by five. Cool. Whatever amount it is, divide by five. That's all it is. So you're like, oh, they like you know, $483 of stuff. What can I give them for free? Divide by five. That's going to give you that 20%. We can give them $96 for free. 
Cool. So that's a very easy rule of thumb. Um, if you're like, maybe they don't want the scissors, maybe they want a fishing knife, maybe they want something else, right? Maybe they're buying a random custom, maybe they're upgrading. And, and Daniel, you're like, oh, my tia had cut cool and she added stuff and her order's like, I don't know, $683. And you're like, what can I give her for free? Well, divide by five and, and say, Tia, you can get 136 bucks of whatever you want. Cool. You can get a couple gadgets. You can get a four set of table knives. You could buy, you know, pick out one of the big knives, whatever you want, 136 bucks. Cool. Everyone good? So that's with free stuff, divide by five. That's the easiest. And with trade-in, whenever they do a trade-in, we can actually divide by four. Cool. We can give them a little extra um, when it's a trade-in. Um, uh, so just so y'all know that, but again, keep calling in until you're over $10,000, y'all, you should call in from every single appointment, uh, to make sure that we're able to guide you guys, make sure that we can help you. And again, we want to make sure you really lay a solid foundation. All right. Uh, so, um, uh, hopefully you guys got some good stuff there with the demo and with the sales. Um, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to transition into maximizing your recommendations and some stuff with phones to help you there. Cool. Before we do that, I want to hear what are your biggest takeaways right now? Um, uh, so what I'm about to go through now uh, with referrals, um, I remember Karina Marquez, when she first started, she was averaging like three recommendations per appointment. And then I showed her this, how to do this. And um, uh, she, uh, we, we worked on her goals. We got her stuff together and then she started, um, uh, her next demo. All right. She was averaging like two or three referrals per appointment. Her next demo, she got 15 referrals. Her next one after that, she, I think she got, um, 30 referrals. And then she had like, I just remember she did the next five demos. Uh, she had over 80 new people to see She was like, what? And she, if she had done five demos, she might have 10, you know, total. Um, uh, cause she was only averaging two or three sometimes. And, um, and then I remember, um, uh, when, um, Leo started, he was averaging, um, he was averaging like three or four recommendations. And then, um, we did this and I was like, let's go through your goals. I was like, they need to not look, if they're just looking at you as a knife salesperson, that's what they're looking at you. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. But they're like, who would, who would buy knives? I don't know anybody. You're not going to maximize the amount of referrals you get. But if they're like young person working on this, this benefits you X, Y, Z sets you up for your future. Heck yeah. You get paid to do it. Let me see how I can help you. And if, even if they don't buy, they're even more excited to give you people because they know how much it helps you. But like, you have to tie them into you as a person and how this helps you get further in your life, how it benefits you personally, how it helps you professionally, um, and how it can help you financially, right? Paying for school or paying this off or being able to buy your family a house or, you know, whatever it is that you're excited about, but they need to have something bigger than just the knives. Cool. The knives, um, uh, showing the product, that's the vehicle to help you get where. So they need to see where this is taking you. Okay. Um, and so this is really important. Um, and I remember uh, Naomi, you can ask Naomi, she was averaging less than, I don't know if it was like three or four, she can tell you how many, but it was under five referrals per appointment um, when she got them. Um, uh, and then we sat and practiced this. And I was like, we need to like really hone in on how you share your goals and tie them into who you are and where you're going. Then you show the products that they like it. We sell them. Then we need to get them back to the appointment. Cause here's the thing at the end of the presentation, naturally they're going to be thinking about the product. Why? You just show them products and ask them if they want to buy. So at the end, that's where they're going to be. Okay. And so something very important my manager taught me is you have to get them back to just feeling good about just doing the appointment and then feeling like they actually helped you just doing the appointment. Because if not, they always, if they didn't buy, have you guys seen this? They feel bad. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't buy, you know, I'm so sorry. Like, why would they give you people they think are not going to buy? They don't want them to feel bad. So they're thinking who's going to buy, right? I, I don't know anyone, Arturo. So at the end, you want to make them feel like a freaking rock star just for helping you out. All right. But the visuals are so important. And that's why having the slideshow, like I, I will tell you the difference between someone who has a slideshow or if they had it, you know, on paper back in the day or they didn't was literally an average of three or four recs or an average of like 16 or more recs. Like that was the difference that we tracked in my office. Most of my top guys averaged 20 or more referrals per appointment when they did this. I averaged 22 recommendations per appointment when I started doing this. That was, that's what I did as my first summer. Um, uh, and then that kept going up, you know? If I would have had the app back then, shoot, I probably would have averaged like 40 referrals. This is handwritten shit, all right? Uh, that took a while to do. Not click, 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 okay. Like it's so easy now. But 
they need to be tied into you, right? So um, so let's recap real quick. So with this slide deck, I'm telling y'all, um, you want to have this even if it's just for the referrals, right? Because they're learning about you, who you are, where you're going, all the different things that can benefit you for your life. Um, talking about Leadership Academy and the things you can learn that can really help you professionally. Like, oh, wow, that's amazing. They're excited to help you get there. Does that make sense? They did the appointment just to help you out. They give you recs just to help you out. So do they really feel they're helping you out? talking about things that you've accomplished, your goals for the fall, what you want to do. Um, but then here, when I get here, I'm always like, hey, there's a free way to help. I'm like, I'll tell you about it at the end, right? Um, my goal is to sell in all 50 states. Um, and so we'll talk about that more later. Um, and lastly is my give back goal. And we talk about that. Um, and I'm like, so thank you again so much for helping me with my goals, right? And so at the end of the appointment, you want to go back. And if you're on the phone, if you don't share your screen on a computer, that's fine. Just say, oh, can you pull up the slide and go back to page, uh, to slide nine for me? And they open it and you're like, all right, perfect. So this is what you have up as you're going through here. And so now you're like, hey, so how did you like my demo? I'm like, and, I, and actually I go, oh, wait a second, we got to fill in. And I like to do it myself so that they can see it. I'm like, all right, so uh, let's say they didn't buy it. I'm like, don't worry about the sales. I'm like, you helped me with the most important thing. I said, what color do you want, Miss Susie? What color is your favorite? I'm like, all right, we're going to fill in a uh, hot pink for you uh, for helping me get one step closer. I'm like, thank you so much. I'm like, the most important thing is that I complete my 12 appointments a week. If I do that every single week, I will hit my goal. So thank you again so much for taking time out for me. Like I said before, I know there's other things you could have been doing right now. I just really appreciate you taking time out for me. That's how I learned how to do it, right? When I say make them feel like a rock star for doing the demo, got it? Not for the sale, but for taking time out. Moms are busy acknowledging that and be like, thank you so much. Do they really feel like they helped you? Because if they did, you're going to get a lot more referrals. And so you have them fill out whatever. And then you go, okay, awesome. So Miss Susie, do you remember the $150 sponsorship? I'm like, yeah, go to slide nine. Um, or you go there. And I'm like, do you remember the sponsorship? I'm like, beautiful. I'm like, so here's where you can really help me out. All right. Um, and you're explaining it. And you're like, so um, uh, there's one more super important part. I'm like, here's where you can really help me out. So I get paid every time I show Cutco and I can only show people I've been personally recommended to. And so I'm really trying to keep my schedule full in order to hit my goals. And so what I need you to do, and again, your inflection, how you deliver this, this all matters. So I'm like, so, oh, I do. What I need you guys to do is just go through your contacts and jot down the first like two to, you know, 300 people that come to mind. And that's what my manager taught me to do. Cause it sounds like you're going to say two or three, which is what they're thinking, but you're taking it to a whole other level. And you're like, just write down the first like two to 300 people, um, so I said, I'm like two to 300 people uh, that come to mind. And then like, well, I'm like, I'm just kidding. I'm like 20 to 30 is fine. And actually the app you downloaded is designed to make this a huge time saver. I'm like, it actually allows me to send introductions straight through the app. So anyone you recommend automatically syncs with my phone. And that way you don't have to take the time to sit and write them all out or type them out and email them. So it's much easier. And of course, I'm only going to see the contacts that you sent me. All right. Um, uh, and so uh, if you go right now and scroll to the bottom, you see the share button, go ahead and click that. And then go ahead and click OK to share contacts. All right. And so now you can pick those two to 300 people you want to refer me to. Right. Uh, and by the way, on this part, I just want you to think of everyone that might be nice enough to see me, not necessarily people you think you, that would buy, although you can tell me about those later, but just nice people like you. And it's OK if they live out of state since I do appointments online anyway. So here's how the sponsorship works. And again, they are looking at this picture as we're going through this. All right. But I'm like, here's how the sponsorship works. When I um, uh, get 50 sponsors, all right, every time I get 50 sponsors, I get a $150 award that I can use to pay for books and stuff. Like they give me cut coal that I can sell. Every 10 names is a sponsor. So if you submit a hundred names, like my friend, Naomi, by the way, do this. Arturo, this is not in, you got to name drop. You got to give examples. So you're like, like my friend, Naomi, or she's in our office. So you're like, um, if you submit a hundred names, like uh, Naomi in my office, um, got, you would be a 10 times sponsor. Actually her customer did 140. So it was a 14 times sponsor. You get 50 names, right? Like Johnny had, well, then you're a five times sponsor. 
you submit 20 names, you're a two-time sponsor. And even if you only get to 10, you still become a sponsor. And again, when I get all 50 sponsors, I get that $150 award. All right. Let me pause. What do you notice, you know, as I'm explaining that? Because again, you can just read those words, but it's very different how you deliver it. So what do you notice there as I'm going through that? Anything stands out? Definitely your tone and, you know, how you deliver it. Okay. But guys, everyone is keeping up with the Jones when you're telling, oh, this person did this, this, and especially when it's somebody that they know too, like then you'll start off, oh, your friend Suzanne gave me 30. You have to beat her. Uh, like, but she was a three-time sponsor. I'm like, you know, and, yeah, and then right there. And even if you only get 10, I'm like, you still become a sponsor. And when I get all 50 sponsors, I get that $150 award. Cool. So go ahead and check off as many um, uh, nice boxes as you can. And let me know when you're finished before you click the share button at the bottom, because I actually, we can get free Cutco. All right. Um, and take as much time as you need. I've developed some paperwork and call my manager anyway. Um, uh, so you can work on that while I do that. Cool. Um, but don't submit until you tell me. All right. Um, like, all right. So I go ahead and I'm filling out my stuff or I'm calling my manager to let them know about what they're looking at or verify my sale or whatever at the end. Um, uh, and then once they're like, okay, honey, I'm like, all right, awesome. Thank you so much. Before you click the share button, can you tell me how many it says you selected in the blue box? Um, uh, and they say seven. And they say three. I'm like, okay, awesome. I'm like, by the way, you're only seven away from a sponsor. I'm like, do you think there's any way that we can go through and look to see what seven? And guys, write this down. This is my key phrase that I would ask, that I would say to people. Who do you know that won't buy, but they're super nice like you and might be willing to help? All right, write that down. Who do you know who won't buy? My manager taught me that. Who do you know who won't buy, but they're super nice like you and might be willing to help me out? I'm like, yeah, and who do you know who's super nice from work? And who do you know who's super nice uh, from you know, the kid's school? Who do you know who's nice from sports? Who do you know who's nice from church? But just as long as they're a nice mom, nice mom in a house, those are my favorite. Uh, and I would say that nice mom in a house, those are my favorites, right? I'm like, anyone nice from... Um, uh, from, from school, from the associations, from work, from your um, husband's work and just brainstorming. I'm like, as long as they're nice, I would love to see them. I'm like, whether they buy or not, I get paid and they can always introduce me to more nice people to help me hit my goals. Um, uh, and so we're brave. So you're not going to say they don't have to buy once. My customers probably heard me say that five, six, seven times, you know, and again, oh, just, and anyone nice and don't even worry if they're going to buy or not. Some buy, some don't, uh, but if they're a nice mom, I'd love to meet them and they can always introduce me to more nice people. And so just always focusing on that. Like they hear that a bunch of times. Um, and then I had Alicia, okay, I got to 12. I'm like, nice job. I'm like, thank you for being my sponsor. I'm like, Miss Susie, now we're only eight away from getting the 20. Um, like, no, I'm like, who do you know that doesn't hate college kids? I'm like, mark them down too. I'm like, and who do you know that works and eats? I'm like, yeah, you can put them down too, right? Those are not on here, but those are things my manager taught me to say. He's like, who do you know who doesn't hate college kids? You can say, who who do you know that doesn't hate young motivated, uh, young motivated people or young, young motivated men or young motivated women? Who do you know that um, works and eats, you know, who do you know that won't buy, but they're super nice like you. And so just brainstorming those people with them. All right. Um, uh, and then once they've done that, um, uh, this is, uh, I always ask them, I always love to know, um, the top people. And so I, when I started doing this, like doing the introductions, it was a game changer. Cause like people were expecting my call and it's so easy with the app. And I'm like, Miss Susie, can we do something? It's going to take like two minutes. Um, but it is so much easier for me to contact people when they have a heads up. I'm like, do you see the button that says introduce next to the first one on your list? I'm like, you can click the copy to text button and it sees, it gives you a pre-written uh, text to introduce me or y'all, you can text them what you want them to say. Mario used to send them his little thing that said, Mario Sabatez, student at FIU, working with Cutco to get business experience, get paid to show. He's super awesome. You'll love him. Um, uh, definitely do an appointment. That's what his said. And he would have his customer. He's like, I just texted you. You can just copy and paste that um, and send it to them. But uh, that is huge. And you can even do a selfie, but just like that heads up introducing you and who you are um, uh, makes, um, makes it so much easier when you're doing phone time. So it is worth the two, three. I mean, I had someone that had like 30. It took them five Five minutes. It is so worth the extra five minutes and you could hook them up with free cut code for helping you, you know? And then this is big. I always ask, I'm like, now, Miss Susie, just so I know, 
um, to prioritize. If you were me and, and you were like in a big contest or you're trying to hit a big goal and you're like, who are the top five that you're like, oh my gosh, I think they would be awesome. I think they'll, they'll probably buy. Um, or you're like, they know everybody, right? And they can really help open doors for me. Who are the top five that you would see first? And I always make a note of those people. And I'm like, any reach, like, oh, she loves to shop. Oh, she entertains a lot. Or she, I'm like, beautiful. I'm like, thank you so much. I'm like, I appreciate it a ton. And just so you know, in the future, if you end up thinking of anybody else, you know, all you have to do is you can pop them in the app and it sends me more contacts and it and lets me know that it was from you. And that's it. All right. But I spend almost as much time getting rucks as I do doing the demo because I also do all the Facebook stuff. And we're going to go over that more on Thursday. I'm not going to hit that now, but this is something you guys want to get really good at is actually handling recommendation concerns because that makes a really big difference in the results that you have. All right. And so I'll email them to you later. Uh, I don't really know that many people. I'll say like just getting good at handling objections is part of the mastery of this job. All right. Um, uh, and then uh, Facebook posts, uh, money in the bank. All right. You get a lot of business from Facebook. Um, and again, we're going to go over all the different things on social, but um, start doing this right away. Like Aniola, go ahead and read this out loud, please. Um, Mrs. Jones, I have found that a lot of people have more friends on Facebook than on their phones. So I'm trying to work on my social media marketing and advertising too. So I would love if you wouldn't put mine, putting a post up for me, introducing me to your Facebook friends. I will send you a template of what you would post and I will also send you a photo of me. So all you will do is a post a photo and a template as an introduction of me. And it will say if anyone is willing to help me out, if they can like or comment below, would you be nice enough to put up that post for me? Absolutely. It would mean the world to me. Great. I will send you a friend request and send you the template and photo. You can also tag me in the post with the ads since we're friends now. All right. So connect with them on Facebook, send them the post, send them the picture. Y'all, again, this might take you another five minutes. So worth it. If you need to do your demos longer, do it because they're building your business and they're getting you so many more people to see. And so that's huge, especially when you're um, in the first building stages. Once you have thousands of people, you know, like that's up to you. But a lot of our top guys, like they do not rush this because this is how, you know, you always have business. Like your recommendations are the gas to the car. Okay. You can be a great salesperson and have all this stuff like that's your car but like if you don't have gas you're not going anywhere and so i want to make sure you guys understand that um and then and then the last part and you'll go ahead and read that so after like after you send them the picture do all that and then you say you're still there by the way there's the time where i'm able to would it be okay if i send you a message on me or facebook friends introducing myself to them if it's cool yeah. Is that cool? And they're like, oh yeah, sure. No problem, honey. All right. And then you guys have a sample of what to share, like a fast start sample, which is for those of you who are brand new, you have a student example, uh, you have a non-student um, uh, and, and we can adjust that with non-student as well. Then you have direct message. If you're a student like that, you can literally just go to Facebook and go to your mom or whoever. I'm going to go to my dad. All right. Um, and I can go to their friends. All right. And so my dad has 207 friends and I can go here and I can look through friends and see who are people that look like Max and I can, you know, send them a message. Um, and so they're all right here. And I just send and use that template. Um, uh, and it just says, hey, this is Kathy uh, Kristen. I'm Armando's uh, Vasquez's daughter. I'm attending Palm Beach Atlantic University as an international business. The company I work for offers scholarships. Help me and you literally just copy the basis. If you're not a student, same thing here, all right? Working with a company to get learn the basics of entrepreneurship, improve my communication skills. Da, da, da. It has an example. You just literally adjust it for you, copy and paste, and just send that to, to parents, friends, aunties, friends, grandpa's friends, um, whoever. And you can get a lot of people like that too, all right? And then if you forgot with people you saw before to ask them, you can go back and ask them if they could put a status for you. Cool. If you forgot to ask if you could send messages to their friends, you could go back and get messages to their friends. But moving forward, and we'll hit this on Thursday again, always ask for a Facebook post at the end, get permission to send messages to friends, send them a picture, make sure you're Facebook friends, and I'll talk about some extra thing you guys can do there later. All right. Um, so 
with this, I want to role play real quick, um, just asking for the referrals and then asking, we're not going to do the Facebook thing right now. We're just going to role play asking for the referrals, having them do the heads up text message, asking them for their best five, um, uh, and then um, and then letting them know if they get more later, they can add it. Okay. So we're going to practice this real quick. Um, uh, and then um, I'm going to transition into our last portion, giving you guys some stuff, some tips for the phone and with the acquaintance and give you guys time to make some calls. All right. So a lot of this stuff uh, at this point is just making sure, are you guys taking time to um, to practice, right? To get comfortable. Like just think about, you want to be a great athlete, right? Like you have to practice. Uh, you want to gain weight um, uh, or like gain muscle. Like you need to go do certain things, build whatever, like there's steps to take. And whether you're a great actress, great at debate, any kind of great performer, like those who practice the most, not just like think about the best athletes or the best uh, performers in theater. Do they only practice when it's practice time with their coach or with their team? No, they also have their own coaches, their own trainers. They practice on their own. You know, they have stuff so that they could be the best. And so are you taking, I always tell people when they first start, can you take 30 minutes, 30 minutes a day um, in your first week of daily study, whether it's going and shadowing someone, coming to a workshop, listening to an audio, just practicing your closing. Like it makes such a big difference getting comfortable with your skills. And then even after that, you know, three times a week, right? Maintenance. And you, uh, we usually do some learning on Thursdays at the team meeting. We always have some learning at breakfast club on Saturday. There's always, uh, gonna, there's always a workshop on, um, on Wednesdays. There's always a workshop on Fridays. So there's, there's workshops available. You don't have to come to each one, but like, if you have the time, shoot, you know, like it's definitely beneficial. You know, I know, uh, we will have, uh, I'll, I'll walk you guys through the workshops right afterwards that we're going to have this week. All right. Um, but last thing that I want to cover with you guys, um, uh, is, the uh, just some tips for the phones, cool. And we're gonna we're gonna hit this harder. We're we're actually gonna cover this on Thursday, um, going into the phones. But I want to make sure you guys just understand when it comes to um, uh, phone calls. And actually, I'm not gonna go through tips to the phone right now, but just in general and basic understanding the psychology of when you're making a phone call. Um, that there are four parts to your phone approach. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and share here. Um, uh, and so there's first like the initial hook, the hello, right? Like, hey, how are you? Whether you're calling someone you know really well, whether you're calling an acquaintance, which I'm going to give you guys the acquaintance approach. Um, uh, for those who want to jump into it, you're welcome to. We're going to really walk through that on Thursday. Um, uh, the second thing is you're letting them know why you're calling, right? So let's say Aniola, you call and you're like, hey, how are you? It's Aniola. Like, oh, hey, Sweeney, what's going on? That's step one, right? I'm like, oh, well, hey, the reason I'm calling, I just started a great new job. So I got called as part of my training. I have to put on some initial appointments. I'm doing it for the training. You know, like you're telling them what you're doing, right? Well, when you're calling an acquaintance, you're like, hey, is this so? I'm like, hey, how are you? I'm like, this is Mickey's daughter. I'm like, I'm like, does the name ring a bell? They're like, oh, I'm like, I'm good. How are you? I'm like, well, hey, the reason I'm calling um, is I just started a, a job with Cutco and it's part of, and you're letting them know what you're up to. Cool. The third step, all right, that a lot of people don't do the right way. And this is really important. If you guys do this properly, you're going to reduce the amount of uh, risk schedules you get. Cool. Because you can book appointments anyway, but if you want to also complete them, <laughs> um, there are two additional steps here. And so step three is urgency. Cool. And you can add this to any approach before asking for times. And step four is you have to firm it up. Cool. So right here, and I'll just do this quick and just give you guys the approach so that you have it. Um, uh, but um, basically, uh, before I offer a time, I'm like, hey, so uh, Miss Susie, I don't know if mom told you, or I don't know if Miss Sandra told you, but my goal is to be one of the top performers and put myself on pace to win a scholarship. In order to hit my goal, I need to do five appointments per day, or for most students now, it's five appointments per week or 10 appointments per week. The reason I was calling now is that in order to stay on track, I still needed to squeeze in two more for tonight. And I was wondering if there's any way that you could squeeze me in on such short notice at blank or blank time. Cool. Uh, and then if they're not available, I'm like, hey, no worries. Figured I'd ask. I've just been working so hard. I'm like, is it normally better for you in the day or evening? I'm like, okay, great. Let me check my schedule. Um, and then you look and I'm like, awesome. I'm like, well, I actually have a time tomorrow um, that I can pop by or just give you a phone call. It depends where they are, right? Um, tomorrow night, I have a 7 p.m. or 8.30. Would that be better? And they're like, oh yes, let's do tomorrow night. You know, and you pick that. I'm like, awesome. And then we've got to make sure you firm it up. All right. So just make sure they write it down. Make sure you get their stuff. You know, what their house looks like. If you're doing it online, get their email. 
and you're like, all right, so Miss Susie, I'm like, is that a time that definitely works for you? I'm like, the only reason I ask is the other day, I'm like, I'm just working so hard for my contest. And I drove uh, from um, South Houston all the way up to Conroe and they weren't even there, you know, I'm like, and I know moms are just really busy. So I just want to make sure the time works well for you with your schedule. And they're like, oh yeah, honey, that time's good. Or like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, and then we can go from there and move it. But um, just that flow. All right. And so I'm going to give you guys like, this is my my uh, acquaintance approach. Okay. Um, and I'm going to share this with you guys and it has it all embedded. Okay. This is what my manager taught me 22 years ago. And so I'm like, Oh, so Hey, Miss Susie. I'm like, this is Kathy Vasquez. That's my maiden name. And they're like, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if my name rings a bell, uh, but it's a Mickey and Armando's oldest daughter from Wayside. And they're like, Oh, like I was calling people I hadn't talked to in like three to five years. I hadn't seen them, you know, cause I'd been away at college and stuff. Uh, and they're like, Oh my gosh, how's your mom? How are your sisters? How's your brother? You know, and I'm like, I'm good. And, you know, we're just saying hi for a second. And like, well, Hey, reason I'm calling is she said, you could, might be able to get, help me out with something I'm working on for school. Um, do you have a quick sec? And they're like, Oh yeah, what's up? I'm like, well, currently I'm a student at Palm Beach Atlantic. And by the way, it's italicized. Cause if you're not a student, like I do it, or you just say, Oh, so this fall I'm working with Cutco to get some business experience. Um, uh, and as part of my training, I'm put, required to put on some initial training appointments. I get paid just to show it. So there's no obligation to buy. I do presentations right over the phone. You just need to be in front of a laptop or a computer at home cool. Um, uh, and so, um, or I can, you know, come over either way. Um, and so I'm like, I'm currently in a huge competition and right now guys, we're in a big competition the next two weeks, the whole country. Um, and I'm like, I'm in a huge competition. And my goal is to be one of the top performers and put myself on pace to win a scholarship in order to do that. I need to complete five appointments per day on the weekend. Um, and so the reason I was calling now is that in order to stay on track, I still needed to squeeze in two more for tonight or two more for tomorrow, whatever you have next. And I was wondering if there's any way that you could squeeze me in on such short notice at blank or blank time. Always build urgency, all right? Because it reduces the amount of cancellations that you get or reschedules because they know how hard you were working. Okay. And if they say, Oh, I do it. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. We're going to be out tomorrow night. We got this. I'm like, Hey, no worries. Uh, figured I'd ask. I've just been working so hard. I'm like, is it normally better for you in the day or evening? I'm like, okay, great. Let me check my schedule and then look at your schedule. Even if it's open, always look at your schedule. And you're like, Hey, I actually have a time that I could pop by real quick, or I could call you real quick at blank or blank time. Would that work better for you? I'm like, all right, awesome. I'm like, well, you don't know how much this helps me out for my goals. Thank you so much. And they're like, yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, uh, and so I know the other one was for virtual. This one was for live. Let me see what um, this one I can do it in, in person or right over the phone. Okay. So this is the adjusted. So let me give you guys this um, so that you have it. Um, and you can practice, right? You guys can use this right now if you want. All right. This was the main thing that I used uh, for most of my demos uh, was the acquaintance because a lot of the people that I was calling, I hadn't seen them in a long time. Like it had been three, five, seven years or more when it came to like family friends. Right. Because um, I had left a school. I actually got into a lot of trouble. I was expelled from high school and I was super embarrassed and I hadn't talked to people in a while. Um, and my dad's like, you should call people from Wayside. You should call people from And I'm like, oh my gosh, dad, I'm so embarrassed. Like that's, I haven't talked to them forever. Ever, can you call them? He's like, no, you want demos, you call them. I'm like, you know, but when I use that, I was really surprised um, at how simple it actually was and how help like people were like, oh my gosh, how are you? you know, like they were very much like willing to help and excited to hear from me, you know, and see how my family was doing and everything, you know. So again, you guys got in training gear one, people you know very well and talk to regularly. Now you have gear two. You're more than welcome to start using that, but only use that for people that would know who you are. Does that make sense? So if you say I'm so-and-so's grandson, I'm so-and-so's daughter, I'm so-and-so's best friend, I'm so-and-so from blank and they're like oh, like there's some kind of a connection that is step two got it because guys for step three it's going to be a little different and for step four with referrals that do not know that you're alive on the planet it is a different approach got it and if you're calling people who don't know who the hell you are you're going to throw them super off guard so as long as there's a connection you guys have permission to give them a call utilizing this all right. So we're going to practice this real quick so you guys can just get comfortable because we're going to be going into a phone jam in a moment. Before we do that, I want to give you guys some final things um, uh, here for today and just, you know, some tips. And so first I want to say this. Right now, like the beginning and your faster is like the hard, like I, I said this in training, but I want to reiterate, you know, like this takes 
the longest, always the hardest. It's like you're laying the foundation, you know, getting your groundwork, getting your fundamentals down. Like you're building the foundation of your house, right? Um, uh, and so you want to make sure you build it right and you want to make sure you build it to last. And so take the time to like it and don't, don't beat yourself up if you're not getting the results that you want yet. You're going to get there, all right? You've got great coaches. You've got a great support system. And once we lay that foundation, uh, the rest builds. But it's like, I'm like, you're going uphill. We're helping you go, Bill. And once you get over that hill, it starts rolling and it is really fun. I've been here 22 years. I absolutely love this business. I love what it does for people. I love how fun it is. You know, I even emailed 34 of my friends today uh, so that I can book some appointments and go out and help with the big competition that we have going on. Um, and I'm excited for you guys to really be able to take advantage of what's available here. So do not quit on yourself yet. Anytime you try anything new, it takes time to get good at it. You know, like most things when you start a brand new and it's like, it's just, it's new it's different and some people catch on quicker than others don't compare to other people just run your race ask for help ask for support we're here to help you every step of the way and there's a lot of great resources that are available all right and so again every wednesday we have a workshop at 4 30 every friday we have a workshop at 4 30 followed by some phone calls and so you're always welcome to go to those wednesdays are usually around getting more appointments cool we have a kick-ass workshop from a top manager tomorrow but Wednesdays are usually on, on getting more names, getting more, some version of that. We teach you guys different things, whether it's with referrals, uh, it's with initial people, it's expanding lists, it's something to help you get more appointments. And Fridays is typically something having to do with sales and closing or increasing your average orders. Cool. So just so you guys know that, um, uh, but I would recommend getting to those workshops, right? If you want help in those areas, you want to get better, you want to get stronger, uh, show up, right? The more you learn, the more you earn. And don't forget that. All right. Um, and recommit yourself. You want to kick butt. Don't forget it's a numbers game. You're going to have great appointments. You're going to have average appointments and you're going to have crappy ones. All right. You're going to have great days. You're going to have average days. You're going to have crappy days. Sales is a roller coaster, but y'all, it is a fun ride, but it is new for most of you. And it takes a little bit to get acclimated. And so I want to make sure that you guys know that and own that. Okay. And don't, don't beat yourself up. Like, why am I not doing better? Why do I like, just I, guys, when I started, my average order was 150 bucks. My closing was 40%. All right. By the end of my first summer, my average order was $800 and my closing percentage was like 82%. Okay. And I averaged 22 recommendations per appointment, but it was a learning process. So ask questions, show up. And I want to commend you guys for being here right now um, uh, and really taking your success seriously. And we're excited to help you guys every step of the way. All right. Uh, and so we're going to transition to practice this real quick and you can start making phone calls. Um, but also um, I wanted to share, we have a little bit of time and we have some help that um, I know that uh, many of you guys had recommended friends before and we just, we haven't had, we've been super crazy busy and haven't had chance to, to get to everybody yet or call everybody yet. And so I'd love for you guys to think about who are your top five to 10 people that you think might be a good fit. Maybe they have a great attitude. Maybe they're a go-getter. Maybe they're, you just said they have grit. They have that it factor, right? Uh, maybe you don't know if they're going to work, but they know tons of people and they can help us build the team. We'd love to meet them. We cannot guarantee anybody, you know, a job, but we can guarantee them an interview. All right. And so something that you guys can do, uh, is you can actually, um, uh, send them a quick text message. All right. Um, and so this text message uh, is very, very simple. All right. Um, and so you're literally just letting them know, um, uh, excuse me, uh, you're literally letting them know um, that, you know, we have a couple openings, you know, and just seeing, um, uh, we're, we're going to shoot them a text message that literally says like, hey, had a quick question. I'm like, do you have a second? Like, that's literally what you're going to text them is just like, hey, had a quick question. Do you have a second? And then they respond back or they're like, yeah, or whatever. Then uh, we can chat with them and we're like, all right, awesome. Um, uh, and we can give them a quick call and just let them know uh, like, hey, uh, my manager has some positions available. I thought you'd be a good fit. I'm actually here with her right now. Do you have a second to chat? Okay. Uh, so that is what we're doing there. And I'm going to pop up a slide um, so that you guys have that uh, right now.